He's in big oh. trouble. Naughty, naughty boy. Exactly. Uh, it looks like you're displaying as a purple splotch again, Mia. I know, it's sad and it's unfortunate and... There you go. Uh, Alright, so... Let's see, Riven, you were the last scribe, correct? Me. Uh, actually, it would be Mia's turn. Are you okay scribing this week, Mia? Me, yes. Alright, sweet. So, I'll put you down for that. Uh, stream is started. Uh, let's <coughs> see, Riven, do you want to give us a quick recap of last week on the Heroes of Char? Yeah. So, last week, well, la yeah, last week went into the room with the three doing nothing skeletons. Uh, a Bodak broke in, took Mia down straight away. Uh, Riven revived her and she had a massive psychosis about being taken out straight away. Tal, after defeating the vodka, uh, Tal found an illusionary fireplace with four buttons. Everyone decided to go for a rest and Riven decided to exercise his death wish and pressed awful in random succession and nearly killed himself like normal. Uh, yep, yeah, went up. Uh, everybody else went to go and have the rest. Maldonis went to Blackwater's estate where he spoke to the person we've sent in as a spy. Uh, and he learnt that Blackwater's got scrying devices in all the rooms. And Blackwater's doing some weird experiments uh, downstairs in his cellar. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Right. Then they had a message for going to go have a meeting with I can Thithral. I hope that's right. Uh they went there, had a meeting. Basically she said that the town's guard are hunting for her people and they gotta step up the plan and either they stick with plan A, which is stealth, or they go to plan B, which is chaos, and they bring in the iron hand and everybody dies, basically. Uh and they believe the Blackwater is manipulating the mayor to hunt after them. The random runes that Riven Press we learnt were the element like were at fire, earth, air, and water, with uh, coinciding with them on four random, <coughs> random items. We never found the fourth one. Mia wouldn't go into the room that she'd previously died in, uh, and Riven couldn't get past a fiery pentagram because he was blocked. So. Pal, Nalo, Scurry, and Maldonis carried on. Met a juggernaut of a skeleton. Uh, after a bit of a fight, Scurry ran for his life. Nalo and Maldonis ran, but both got took out. Did we lose you? Uh oh. Did we lose me? <coughs> Come back. I was like, did I go dead? No, nope, I'm still here. I think you we think may he's have... still going? Do you think he's realizing he's just, on yet? He's just reading. He's still going for it. He's, he's just going. <laughs> oh, he's back. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Literally, it's just like, oh shit, it's that. Right. Did you uh, just yeah, fall so... asleep? What was that about? I, I, my, when I've got my phone connected to the Wi-Fi, some reason it's hit and miss if I get oh, okay. if I can hear people, and that's also have to turn my Wi-Fi off to interconnect to my mobile data, and I always forget to do that. So yeah, sorry. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Then. Oh, there he goes again. <laughs> there he goes again. Oh no. Oh. I mean, technical I'll difficulties. Try this. Yeah, I'm gonna try it without my headphones this time and see how that works. Ooh, oh, I'm turning it down. Fuck it. I got loud. <laughs> try. Oh, yeah, oh God's sake, like Chris! All right. Fuck uh, hell. So let's see. That was, that was about the end. You were fighting the large skeletal juggernaut. And uh, you did manage to take it down after a harrowing fight where several people almost got killed. Um, I have some questions. Uh, Riven, why are you at 53 of 43? Because we've got the 10 extra hit points. 
So that would also add to your max. You just have to remember what your normal max is. Oh. So uh, that seems like a lot that you added twice. Yeah, I. No. So what? Uh, what class are you? A part sorcerer, part the uh, cleric. All right. So the what's your first level? Uh, I've got three in sorcerer, two in cleric, I think. In your first one, sorcerer. Yeah. All right. I believe it is. Uh, I'm just gonna do a quick mental calculation on that. Let's see. And so I think you should be at. 34 because first level as a sorcerer you get six and then plus two for well you get six at first level then second level you get four and then at third level you get four so that's 14 okay. uh plus six for the three levels of con so it's 20 and then you get five and five uh for two levels of clerics so that's 30 and then another two for each so that's 34 yeah so you are that's correct now uh, and the other end of the spectrum, Meldonis, uh, I believe at first level, because you're a wizard, right? Or sorcerer. Yeah, I, sorcerer. I didn't do the uh, the max hit points for first level. Yeah. I just did average for everything. Ah, so yeah, the others are average, but first level you would have seven, and then the others you would have five. So I think you're at 27. Okay. Plus ten. Ah, uh, yeah, plus. And, and plus ten uh, for bless or not bless uh, for aid. All right, so gotcha. with that fixed up. Uh, uh -huh. it is uh, the Heroes of Char session twenty at ten thirty a.m. Uh, you have just taken down this large creature as it now lays in ruins in front of you. Uh, scurry looks wounded. Nalo and Tal also look wounded. And, uh, yeah. What do you all want to do? The dungeon is quiet, at least for the moment. Uh, I'm gonna cast Prestidigitation and clean myself up. Alright, so you kind of wave your hand over yourself, uh, giving your robes a quick cleaning. Yeah, what's everyone want to do? Do you have the uh, the dungeon up on? Oh, I do not. That's probably why everyone's waiting for me. Mm -hmm. That's too be continue. Let's there you continue. go. So you have the large hallway to the south where the golem came from. Uh, you have the lab where you just were. And the strange room in the middle that seems to be blocking Riven. At least it'll work better than that. And uh, Mia has sort of walked up now, even though she's still a little hesitant. Yeah, I'm waiting to see when she realizes you're in the room you fainted in or died in. So are the guys still in there down there, like, hurt, or are Uh, three of them are still down there. The other three are up here in the lab. I don't oh. think any of them are unconscious. I think they're all up. They're just not. Yes, uh, several are wounded, but they are all up. Okay. Um, in that case, I'm just going to run back to the doorway over here and just, just realizing that I was in the room again just not be okay with it and run back and kind of just cling to the outside of the wall and holler in. You guys are good! Yeah? Barely. Uh, now, Meldonis, <laughs> sir, uh, did anyone go down during that fight? I did. Uh, yeah. So Meldonis is think... looking a bit wounded uh, with one level of exhaustion. Yeah. I think no oh. one went on. Talon? Yeah, no, no, no. Huh? Or who went uh, on? Nello. 
Nalo? Alright. So I remind myself who has the exhaustion. Um, I would like to inspect that, uh, the flaming star, and see if there's any way I could disrupt it. Alright, uh, give me an arcana check with disadvantage. Oh, rough. Seven. So, you <laughs> can't think of anything in particular. I mean, just with, um, with your knowledge of magic, there are certain spells that can disrupt other magics, uh, though I don't know if you have to spell magic. I do not. Yeah, so you're not sure how else to get rid of this. <clears throat> Okay, um, I'll take a small little walk to see uh, what's further down this area. Alright, so you see that this uh, symbol on the wall is lit up, uh, and down the hall where the creature was, it looks like there's a bunch of rubble from several areas of cave -in. Although, I don't know if you can actually see in the dark over here. I can. I have 120 feet dark vision. Oh, uh, well, let me add that to your token then. Because for whatever reason, it wasn't on there. Now, is that a spell or something that you... Uh, always it is have? a class feature. Okay. So it is a thing that I always have. All right, I'm going to add that to your token snapshot then, so you'll have it next time. But uh, yeah, you see a bunch of caved-in areas, uh, you see uh, the area where the bones used to be before they got up, and you would see another bunch of vault doors that have been smashed inward uh, that appear to lead to the north. Okay. Um, Possibly into a new area. Are the glowing runes in a language that I would know? Uh, do you speak Dwarven? I don't. So okay. the runes themselves, you believe, aren't actual words, but probably some sort of magic channeling uh, um, mm. device. There is something written under it in Dwarven, which you wouldn't understand. Okay. I think we should just rest for a bit now. Yes, I agree. Nalo nods. He says, I could use an hour. I'm not really comfortable here. So but... you're up for that song of rest? <laughs> Nalo says, you can punch me in the face, but you can't come help us beat up a big thing? I killed that big thing. You're welcome. After we softened it up for you. Uh, my fault you ran in there thinking nothing at all. Could have gauged your enemy. So as well, we defeated it, and that's what's important. I defeated it. For Great. I am me a conqueror of all. Uh, You're in the room of it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Nala laughs, says agree to disagree. Alright, so you're all sitting down to try to rest? Yeah. Alright, uh, so... Is anyone doing anything during the rest? Yeah, I want to look at the pentagram that's blocking me from going anywhere. Alright, so yeah, whenever you approach it, some kind of invisible force seems to push you back. Uh, there are these type of um, wards, usually to keep outsiders away from areas, which uh, you technically are, being a fairy. There's no way you know to pass this other than to dispel it, and I don't think you have the, uh, the uh, spell to dispel it. There might be some sort of ritual. Do you have ritual casting? Yeah. So... Level three, right? Three or three levels of cleric. So um, two, I think. Or two levels of cleric. Yeah. So yeah. with uh, at this level of knowledge, you're not sure of what rituals mm. might dispel this. Unfortunately. 
Nalo says, uh, you could always try the bag, Riven. We still have that as an option. If that had happened, I would have died last time! Well, you could have flown away. And hit the barrier, and then I get blocked again. Well, don't fly up to the barrier. There's a big hallway out there. Which will lead to where? I don't know. Fly up to the ceiling. What am, what am I, the answers guy? He says, it's, it's, he pretty, it's pretty much guaranteed that there's a room similar to this one on the other side that activates the other rune on the wall. Yeah, and every room we've gone into has had things that want to kill us. So that's a yeah, good idea. What I'm saying is maybe we could loop around and maybe you can enter the other way. Well, there's still that southern I... passage too, Nalo says, the one with the water that no one wants yeah. to go through. That's what I'm thinking. Because the Man, other I one could... has to be down there somewhere. Always take a look. So, does anyone have a passive perception of 15 or over? Yes. So, about a half hour into the watch, you would hear what sounds like uh, some kind of moaning, like a ghostly moaning coming from the south somewhere. Mm. Like a... You can barely oh. hear it. It sounds like it's in the distance somewhere, like over here. What a wonderful sound! And you what want me to get a wonderful guess... sound? <laughs> you want me to get into a bag and go near that thing? Remember, you only heard that if you have a passive perception of fifteen or oh. over. Oh. Yeah, I'm not saying anything. It's just <laughs> background noise that's usual for this place. Tal's like, yeah, it's probably fine. <laughs> it's probably not fine, but what do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> no reason to get everyone worked up. Uh, all right. I'm very utilitarian of you. All right. <laughs> so time is passing. Uh, also, just FYI, the skeletal monstrosity and the uh, bodak have essence that can be collected using... Well, the monstrosity would use arcana the, or uh, alchemy. The bodak would use religion or alchemy. Uh, already looted the bodak. Oh, did you? Why is he not marked? All right. So then it would just be the monstrosity. I'm not going near any of that. Are you camping out in the hallway here? I am in the hallway. Okay. I'm like supervising. Uh, also, towards the end of the rest, I'm going to cast uh, Comprehend Languages again. Okay. Uh, so the rest would pass. An hour goes by without issue. So go ahead and do a... If you want to do a short rest, spend one of your short rests for the day, and then you can benefit from it. Remember, you have three of them. I'm not sure. I don't think it, you've used one before this. But you can use one now to uh, spend hit dice or regain abilities or whatever you want. I will... And it is now 11.30 in the morning. I want my channel divinity back. <clears throat> so, you all feel a bit better as the time passes and you regain some of your uh, hit points and or powers. Yeah. Uh, question. I don't see Scurry in Roll20. Is he, is he here? His, his internet is gone down, and he's frustrated. He's, he's messaging me on his phone, trying to get it back up. But I don't know if he's going to make it back in. He's been having a lot of issues with his internet. Alright, I'll put him in the background for now, then. <laughs> uh, so what do the four of you want to do? Gonna... Wait, where am I? A torch again. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, I don't know where my token is, but I'm gonna walk up to. I see you as being right here. Wait, where? Right here. Why are there two torches? 
but they must find down to the lights. Okay, whatever. You can delete one of them if you want. I'm gonna delete myself. Yeah, also you can delete yourself and pull yourself back on if you... Uh... Yeah, I can't delete myself since I don't see myself. So. There you go. I got you. Okay. So, I'm gonna walk up to the writing we saw on the wall and read it. Oh, I'm getting some background noise. Like from me up. Uh, caught, yeah, sorry, give me a second. My computer's wrapping up. That's embarrassing. Alright, so if you come over here with a Comprehend Languages Tal, uh, this uh, lit up area is marked Northern Library Charged. And there's something actually kind of written in the middle here that you notice now that's kind of scuff that Meldonis missed before. Uh, it says, uh, use caution when opening southern door. Okay. That doesn't sound ominous at all. And on the lower... Uh, this thingy? one says, uh, southern... Uh, Southern Laboratory and Prison. Okay. And uh, these ruins are not lit up. So there's a prison down there. And a laboratory. And I... I uh, so that other room was the laboratory as well that we were in. So I can assume that the library is down this corridor or something. Uh, it's possible. Okay. Or, like, like the, that room where we came from isn't the library. There's no books, so... Yeah. Oh, uh, so, did I say library? I meant, uh, Northern Laboratory. Is so, what oh, says. okay, okay. I didn't okay. mean to say library, sorry. <laughs> no, okay. So, what do we want to do? Explore the hallway we unlocked, or do we go the long way around? Well, we're here to uh, we're here to find a way into the basement of uh, Blackwater, right? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. To find a way through. Yeah, if, if we ask Scurry, we're here to find treasure. Well, I mean, I'm not against treasure either. I, I do think that's a good point. While we're here, we should explore this place to the fullest, because once the uh, Blood Hand get in here, you know they're going to rob this place blind. Now it says. I'm so. down to go anywhere other than this room. Yeah, we know. So, <laughs> so there's definitely not another room just like this one on the other side. It might be, but we can't That's all good. of us get through it. <laughs> Wait, well, we could no? try that tunnel uh, where the water is. Yeah, but how many of us can hold our breath that far? That far? That's like 20 feet. I'm small. It's further for me. Plus, you don't actually have to hold your breath. It's not like it goes under the water. You just have to go That's through the problem. water and swim. And I go above the water and fly. <laughs> or you can fly, exactly. Let's do the water. I want to be adventurous. Um, <laughs> I don't like where I can go. The question is, who's going in first? Well, since I can fly, I'll fly over it all. I mean, I can go in first since I can see in the dark. That's a... Well, can, but I got... Peace up for you. How's it going in there? We've gone the other way. You can come this way. Which way? I, I can't see in the dark. Oh my oh, god, I'm gonna get her. There are <laughs> torches around. Alright, but maybe you just want to hold my hand? So Maldonis, mm -hmm. you climb, climb down into the sludge. Over yeah. here. Alright, it is definitely... Gross. Uh, it's very deep too. You do have to swim. Uh, you can't touch the bottom here. Uh, looks like for whatever reason something made a huge hole in the dungeon floor. You would guess there are probably caves below that flooded, but 
you're not sure because you, uh, yeah, you can't see into the water how deep it goes. Gotcha. All right. So as you <clears throat> swim forward, uh, you would see some bubbling, and everybody freeze. Crazy. <laughs> as a large horned creature bursts through the water. Oh, Let's kill right. it! And I need initiative rolls. God. Pick me. Oh, dang it. <laughs> you can pick me. Wow. You can, uh, I was going to say, uh, you can change it to 7.16 because my first roll. I just forgot to select my token. Uh, usually, if you forget, you just roll it again. That's fine. Okay. Uh, so I think you have seen these before. Or maybe you haven't. Or maybe I just didn't show you the picture. But this is what they look like. Uh, large skeletal beasts that may have been minotaurs at some point. Got it. Them again. Oh, well, this is how I die. Uh, so initiative for them. Uh, someone is on there as torch, so I'm just going to delete that. Yeah, I, I picked me, but because it was, I had the dancing lights selected as well. It so you have to that. roll again. Oh, better! Yay! Yeah, that's fine. If you roll as torch or don't select, it just doesn't count. <laughs> uh, all right, so the first to go, luckily, is Meldonis. What are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Cut its bloody head off! These creatures uh, rise from the water, hefting their great axes. They do not look friendly. God. I... Uh, I'll cast Mage Armor on myself. Alright, so you chant as a magical force armor envelops you, helping to protect you. Uh, oh, anything else? Dang it. Actually, uh, can I renege that and take the disengage action? Sure. Instead. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can disengage. Uh, is it uh, rough terrain? Yeah, you know. so swimming, you'd be at half speed, so you can swim, uh, yeah, basically water is, uh, basically difficult terrain, but it's, yeah. Okay, I can get to the edge. Because that would be... Alright, so Meldonis, 10, uh, quickly swims backwards, ah, pulling himself out of the water, uh, which would probably be 30 feet right there to yep. uh, get onto land, but you are standing there. Uh, so that's it for you, Riven. Right. <clears throat> Unless there's anything else you want to do, Meldonis. Nope. Okay. Nothing else Not I can. Somewhere. Oh. I'm going to come flying over Meldonis, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to put myself on top of him yet. But yeah, I'm flying, like, flying above him, and I'm going to cast gust of wind like into that area because i'm guessing it broke the service uh sure go ahead and link the spell yeah it's kind of like just gonna hopefully be like a barrier all right it's so mark yourself as concentrating as wind starts blowing in there one with the head uh so Strength save, okay. Uh, so that would be... Which way is the line going? Just south? Uh, it... Well, yes, it's going south, but I don't know if I've got it like, going south, like pushing it down so that it's going into the water. If it's just if it heads just at the water, pushing so it kind of like into the water to try and push it back, creating waves. If okay. it's very high out the water, just straight down. All right, so uh, is that it for you? 
Yeah, kind of. I'm just like, <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna kill us! Alright, so this one did not start within the wind, but he is gonna step in. 10. He's gonna squeeze 20. Uh, and he's gonna try to use Overrun. Uh, Riven, you're flying, so you can just go under you, but Meldonis, I need an <clears throat> athletics check from you. Rough. As he is basically Ooh. trying to push his way past you. 17. Not bad. Oh, uh, so he is oh, unsuccessful oh, oh. and cannot push past you. Uh, stuck there squeezing. He's going to make a great axe attack at disadvantage. Yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, thank God it was at disadvantage. Yeah, 26 becomes a 20, which I believe would strike you. Uh... Oh, that's 13 plus 11? All right, cool. Uh, well, I'm unconscious. That's if it crit, which it did not. Oh, okay, so the 13. All right. Yeah, so he basically swings and kind of clips you with the axe doing 13 damage, and you are looking messed up. Oh, that is yeah. it for him. Uh, Tal, what do you want to do? Uh, so mark yourself as wounded. Move up here. Bloodied. Um... And I'm going to hit it with Green Flame Mace first. All right, so you Hopefully come... it can jump to the other one. Uh, 19 would indeed hit as you smash it with your mace, dealing 11 points of damage. And yes, it would jump to the other one because it's right behind it. Fire burns him for five. And they... Well, this one definitely looks angry at you. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon. Okay. So and attack it again. So you chant summoning a spiritual weapon. Uh, 17 would strike. Oh, uh, also, you did an extra 7 because it is vulnerable to bludgeoning damage. And uh, you strike it for another 6 as more uh, of its bones sure. crack. Uh, Mia. Okay. Um, I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark. Alright, so you uh, chant casting a Hunter's Mark, I assume, on this one? Yep, Mr. Batty right there. Alright. And then... Nature energies surround him, and he is marked. And then... Um, am I, do I have enough movement to rush up to him with and do a double attack with my short swords? Or am I not going to be able to get that close? Uh, what's your movement? Uh, is it thing that says speed? Yeah. Or no? A uh, 30. Alright, so you can indeed get to that square that I just uh, showed with 25 feet of movement. Okay. Alright, let me get over there. That's not close enough to get with my short, short shorts, is it? So. No, he's squeezing. You can hit him with any weapon there. Okay. So then I will do a. Um, Sort sworn attack. Well, you have to you have to move up to him. You only moved halfway. Oh, sorry. All right, there, there we go. All right, so you lunge forward, stabbing. Uh, because he is squeezing, you have advantage. So twenty-one would strike, doing five for Colossus, five piercing, and a D six for your hunter's mark. Nine. So please give me another D six of damage. Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, so 12 points of damage on that first strike, and he is, or it is, uh, wounded from your stab as another bone snaps. Awesome. Uh, and I get... Yeah, I believe you have a second attack. Yeah, I'll do that second one. Oh, yeah, 21 will strike again, landing another solid hit for a l uh, no, no Colossus Slayer, but you do get a D6. Mm -hmm. So 7 plus D6. Nine points of damage. Uh, it's looking pretty beat up from your two stabs, uh, but it is still up. Anything else? Uh, I'm just going to on it. I will use your head as a helmet and then wait. Okay. Uh, so the one back here has to make a strength save because of all the wind. Yeah, he is uncaring of the wind. Uh, he's going to go 10, 20... 
And he's going to try to overrun Meldonis like the other one, so I need another, uh, another check. Come on. Oh, unfortunate. Uh, well, we'll see how he does. Oh, so you oh. managed to hold him back. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, he would have advantage, but it doesn't matter because you still would have beat him with a 12. So he is unable to pass, and he's going to have to fall back, mm -hmm. giving all three of you opportunity attacks if you want to take well, them. Uh, yeah. I, I cannot. Uh, but Mia and Tal, if you want to spend your reactions. Uh, 19, cool. actually 26, because he is squeezing, so that would crit. And uh, 21 would hit, so let me get uh, those damage rolls. So Mia does 8 and 5, so that would be 13. And you do 16, 17, or wait, 18, and then 3 and 4 is 7, 25 damage. A nasty bunch of hits as he is driven back by apparently the line holder Meldonis, who is just keeping Most these guys at bay. The yeah. other one gets hit with green flame mace. I uh, don't know if that crits, but probably. Uh, no, I don't think it would crit him. Uh, but he would take uh, how much? Fifteen? Really? Wow. Yeah. All right. Seven a day. Nice hit. Uh, so he is badly wounded. Aldonis, <laughs> Aldonis holding the lines. Uh, that's it for him. Uh, Meldonis, what do you want to do? Um, how close to the shore is? This big guy right there. Uh, he's still squeezing in the wall. So he's basically like right next to it. Because, yeah, he is trying to get past. But he's kind of unable okay. to move very well within that smaller hole in the wall. So he's, yeah, he's offering advantage still. Uh. Guess I'll... Mind Sliver. I don't really have any other spells I can do right now. Alright, so you chant casting Mind Sliver, which he will attempt to resist with an int save. Oh, he does not do well taking 7 Psychic. And he shatters, falling to pieces in the water. Uh, anything else? Yeah. Right on this? Uh, nope. I have nothing else I can do. Alright, Riven. Okay, so I am going to... <clears throat> right. The one further back, I'm going to Guiding Bolt. Okay. Shoof. Uh, 15 would be enough, and you would strike him dead center. Uh, how much? Uh, oh god, I'm going to pick that one up. No, not that one up. Alright, so you spend a first level spell uh, doing 12 points of radiant damage, further wounding him as he is seared by radiant energy and now offering advantage to the next attack. Anything else? Uh, how he's standing from me, I want to direct the gust of wind because I can do it as a bonus action to like push him or hit him and like so he's in it. Alright, so you redirect it towards him. Uh, yeah. All right, that is it for you, I believe. Uh, Tal. Yeah. Okay. Um, definitely not going in the water. I'm gonna attack it with a spiritual weapon. All right, so you spend uh, send your spiritual weapon in and crit. Whap. Smashing him dead center for uh, seven damage. Uh, some more bone snap, but he is still alive. Gonna cast uh, toward the dead on him. All right, so he must make a con or no wisdom save, uh, which would fail, and the necrotic energies would wither him into oblivion. <sighs> he falls apart. All right, so the group is successful. What do you all want to do? Um, can I go cut the head off of the minotaur? Get uh, me one! The heads yeah. are sort of just in the water as they fall I apart would like to them. cast Shape Water to move the water 
uh, with the floating skeletal bodies towards the shore. Uh, well, you don't see all the bones because they, I think they fell into the water. So they, although do bones float? No, I don't think so. No. So yeah, I think they sunk to the bottom. Uh, what does shape water do exactly? You want to? It just allow. Uh, well, one of the things that allows me to do is redirect the flow of water in whatever direction I want. Um, okay. So this is. St- well, g- could you link it? Let me take a quick look at it. Is it sure. a cantrip? Yeah. Yeah, so let's see. Five foot cube. All right, so it's not currently flowing because it's stagnant. Uh, I guess you could sh- I, shape it. I can, yeah, I can I can move the water or change the flow, of, uh, uh, the direction of the flow. Yeah, so you can, if you wanted to move, like, a five-foot area, you could. Uh, though you think it's probably deeper than that. Because, yeah, you had to swim when you got in. But you could try moving five feet and see what you see. Sure. All right, so Maldana starts pushing some of the water back, uh, revealing, like, a little hole there. Uh, it looks like underneath it's a little bit clearer, and you see the floor is down at about, uh, eight feet. And you do see a bunch of bones down there, including the skull. Okay. I don't, I don't know if this is but I was gonna say, could I fly over it and use the gust of wind that I'm still concentrating on to, like, push down and maybe blow the water out? I don't know if it'll work. Uh, sure. It would probably be pretty powerful. Uh, so with three feet of water, so you're gonna fly down there, like, gust to wind the water out of the way and grab the skull? Oh, yeah, Is yeah. that what you're doing? So I'm gonna, I was gonna fly over, like, where I'd be, and then just direct the gust of wind straight down, like, trying to push the water out. Alright, sure. Does that sure. make sense? So... Like, parting the sea. As, uh, Mel Donis is moving that five feet out of the way, you... Blow the other three feet to the side and grab the skull. I assume heading back up. Yeah. Okay. So you have a minotaur skull. Yes. You're not sure where the second one is because it's much uh, further in. I'm gonna start going in there to see if I can find the other one. All right. So Mia splashes down in the water. Uh, are you diving down below and trying mm-hmm. to look around? Yeah. Um, give me a, uh, give me a perception check with disadvantage because it's hard to see in the water. I think I do the same with Gusta's wind, just trying to push it so that she doesn't have to go as far before the surfaces or to make. Uh, you could speed. probably b- blow out like two or three feet of water, but this is no. pretty deep in the middle. Oh, okay. And how do, do I do it with disadvantage? Uh, you would take the it, six there. So oh, okay. you're you're looking around down here. You're feeling around. You feel a couple of bones and some like just gunk, like something just dirt, and uh, but you don't find a minotaur skull as you're swimming around down here. Okay, is there anything of <clears throat> note at all that I'm? Uh, it's about? really hard to see because the water is so murky and gross. Uh, mm-hmm. So it's hard to tell if there's anything of note down here. Mm-hmm. You could you could spend more time and keep looking, uh, but at least for this first uh, few moments, you don't find anything. Can I go deeper? Uh, it's not as much of going deeper as just looking around, because there's a bunch of water. So, I guess I'm going to swim around for a hot minute. I... How, long, how, long, how long can I hold my breath for? Is that a thing? Yeah, Your so... con score, I believe. Yes, I believe it's the con modifier plus one minutes. So, uh, depending on what your con modifier is, you add one to that, and that's how many minutes I think you can hold your Is it the global save modifier constitution? Uh, It's just the modifier, so whatever it says under your con. Like plus one or two or three. Uh, The big number or the little number in the circle? Uh, whatever the lower number is, that's the modifier. Three. All right, so then you can hold your breath for four minutes. Okay, cool. I'm going to swim around in here. Okay. That's a long time. I, I feel like I can... Do, I, you, I can... do 
do you have knowledge, nature, or survival? Um, I have survival and nature. Uh, you can roll either of those if you're trained. So you're trained in both of them? Mm-hmm. Perfect in both. Yeah, so you can roll either of those. You might no okay. notice something okay. down here. Survival is higher. Okay. So you would notice that deeper down the water seems cleaner, uh, which would make you think there might be a flooded cave down here somewhere. Okay. Like an actual flooded passage. Uh, though you haven't found it yet, so you want to just keep swimming around and looking for things? Yeah, I'm going to look for it and look for stuff. Alright, uh, so the rest of you are up on the surface, I assume, just waiting? Um, I was going to start, um, raising a path. So, using shape water, I'm going to freeze this square connected to the hole, and then this square right there. So kind of just make a, walking an, across. an icy path on the top? Mm-hmm. All right, uh, let's see. So yeah, you begin concentrating as you're casting multiple instances of shape water uh, as the surface of the water begins to freeze, creating a little walkway for you. Uh, unfortunately, you will have to probably crawl to get through this hole here, uh, but you can duck under it and move through. Uh, Riven, I'm assuming you're doing uh, dancing lights on the other side over there? I'm trying okay. to say this so I can just I don't have to keep moving each individual bloody light. <laughs> well, you can uh, click and drag to highlight all of them. No, but I'm trying to set it up so I can just so yeah, like this. Uh, all right, so Maldonis is walking across the ice. Uh, down below, Mia, what is your passive perception? Passive perception. Yeah. Is... So you just look at your roll and figure it out. Is it one that says passive wisdom perception? Yeah. Twelve. Twelve, alright. Uh, give me another active perception check. Uh, perception check? Yeah, unfortunately you are still at disadvantage because it's hard to see down here. Mm -hmm. So, that one? Alright, uh, so... You've been swimming around for a while. Uh, you have to resurface for air, but you still mm -hmm. haven't really found much down there. Mm -hmm. um, am I able to resurface since there's ice on the top? Or am oh, I... I only did it in like small areas. Oh, okay, okay, because I was like, if I am yeah, you made a path. So right, no, well. you you can resurface. You're covered okay. in muck, but uh, yeah, other than that, you seem fine. You guys, you, the water, I don't know how to explain it, but the water down there is not as bad as it looks. And it gets better, and I think that there is, like, a cave. I just, I can't find it. There's, I think there's a, there's a thing down there. I just can't find anything. Well, I, uh, I'm going to stick to the ice path, Nalo says. I'd rather not Oh, come on there. in. The water's fine. Do I think I could even swim with heavy ammo on? Uh, yeah, I don't think, um, I don't think there's any rules against swimming with armor, I don't believe. Uh, because it's not, I mean, you're wearing, what, chain armor? Yep. Yeah. I did not take my armor off, was I supposed to? Uh, well, you have studded leather, I believe, right? Um, I have scale mail. Scale. Uh, so, is scale heavy? I don't think there is a rule. I know in older editions, I don't believe you could swim in heavier armors. Uh, but scale's medium. So, you mm. could, uh... I think you can still swim in chain armor, I think. Yeah, I'll, I'll chuck it over it's the just, water's it's edge. Probably just, I, it's probably just harder to do. I'm struggling. I got this. And also, mm. you'll get your armor all wet. Mm. Just shake it off like a dog. I mean, Maldonis can just shape water it all off. I can. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I, I can actually uh, help him move through the water easier with shape water. So. 
True. Well, okay. you want to try to swim down there, Tal? Yeah, I'm going to try to swim down there. I'll yeah. go down as well. So Tal and Meldonis hop in the water. Uh, yeah, again, it's kind of hard to see down here uh, if you're swimming underneath the surface. Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check with disadvantage. Is uh, the water just murky, or is that why it's difficult to see? Uh, yeah, it's murky. It's been stagnant probably for a long, long time. Uh, though you as well would notice once you go deeper, it's a little bit easier. Uh, so, Tally, you would see the Minotaur skull kind of uh, in a bunch of muck. Uh, and you would actually notice what looks like a small opening, like a uh, sunken cave that's flooded. Uh, you don't know if you could fit, but someone uh, who is not armored or smaller might be able to fit in it. Okay. Although it, as again, is flooded. Yeah, I'm gonna resurface and get on land. I mean, there's no way we all get through there. Well, who will get through there as I start to do the backstroke? I mean, I could check it out. Oh, so, wait, is there a door down here? Yes, yeah, so to the south there is a door. A uh, okay, large double know. door. And it says uh, Southern Laboratory in Dwarven, which you can still read, I believe. You're small. There's like a, a hole oh, God, down there a if you want to explore and die. <laughs> uh, I'm, I, I'm okay, Nalo says. Maybe uh, Riven wants to go. He likes doing dangerous things. I'll take going investigating the land of going underwater. Yeah. Where was this uh, cave you were speaking of, Tal? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna describe it to him. I don't know. But I'm gonna describe it. So it, it was down in this area. Uh, I'm gonna go underwater, and I'm gonna cast Shape Water to propel myself, like, make the flow of current go down towards that, to help me swim slightly faster. Alright, uh, so give me a perception check as you're looking around down here. Uh, can I also because i can have two instances of this going i would like to change the opacity of the water to make it clearer uh all right so then you would have advantage on your perception check okay 19. uh yeah so you indeed <clears throat> see uh that small cave that uh um that tal was talking about it Definitely looks like it would be a tight squeeze, uh, even for you, who's kind of smaller. Um, I'll go down there, and I'll, like, look in to see uh, what what's through the small opening. Alright, and you said you can change the water opacity to help you mm -hmm. see? Yeah. Uh, give me a perception <clears throat> check as you look in here. Okay. Also, how long can you hold your breath? Uh, two minutes. All right. Uh, so you cast your spell and you're kind of looking around. Uh, and it looks like the water... Uh, yeah, when, when you cast your spell, it definitely gets easier to see. Uh, and you can feel a little bit of water flow down here. Uh, looking into the passage, you see it goes uh, about 15 feet and then widens a bit uh, and turns to the south, this cave. Okay. <laughs> but you don't see anything in that passage directly. All right, I'll uh, I'll drop the opacity and I'll cast Shape Water to help myself resurface quickly. All right, so Meldonis pops out of the surface, kind of mucky. Uh, uh -oh. and get, getting out, I'll cast Prestidigitation to clean myself off. All right, so you clean off all the dirt and dirty water. Mia's gonna splash him right after he casts cast spell. 
Alright, Mia does kind of a jerk move and splashes you after you cleaned yourself off. I'll, you know, with a wave of my hand, cast it again. Alright. There's a tunnel that heads off towards the south, but it is a tight squeeze, and I would say only a couple of us could actually fit down there. Let's shove the loot fairy in there. He's tiny. They also don't like breathing underwater. Wait, can you breathe underwater? I didn't know that you could do that. That's so only, cool. Only naiads and nymphs can. Fairies, no. We have the wings instead. Well, then you'll be even faster. You can flap your wings like like flippers. Wings don't. I'm well, not a. Yeah, th those won't actually help you fly quicker underwater. I'm not a penguin. The wings don't work that way. Cool, they do, though. So who can fit? Why don't you just swim down and go as far as you can and, and see if there's anything in there? I mean, I could fit down there. Um, oh, that's... and did we get Scurry back? I thought I heard him reconnect. It he looks like he's in the... Yeah. Alright, so let me add the, your character here. There you go. So the plan is the loot fairy goes down and swims around and sees what there is to see. Just hold your breath. It's by plugging this like this. And I show him. I just put my fingers on my nose. You just hold your nose like this. Oh god. Got you, bro. Alright, alright. Alright, alright, I'll go. Alright, so you're gonna I can assist you and. Swimming I faster, hate, if you'd like. I hate water. But, thank you. And I'm going to hover above. Well, I'm going to fly over the water, then just stop flying, and then just drop into the water. Mm. All right. So you swim oh. down uh, towards the hole there, Meldonis behind you. Uh, you do indeed see the opening as uh, Meldonis kind of points it out underwater. Would my dancing lights still work underwater? Yeah, they're not fire, so you can light okay, up the cool. area. Uh, which does <laughs> help you see a lot uh, a lot more down here uh, as your lights right. come in here with you. Uh, so I'm you want to... Send... Go ahead. Send... I want to send two dancing lights through the hole so that it lights up on the other side so I can have an idea of what I'm about to swim into. All right. Uh, so there's a... Uh, passage, as I said, it goes in about 15 feet below the floor, then turns south. Uh, if you sent the light down there, it would just fly down the passage and get to the end of the turn. Right. Okay. So now I'm going to swim up, grab a breath of air, and then just go straight for the hole. All right. I'll, I'll join him and... So, Maldonis, you're going to squeeze in the uh, hole behind him? Yeah, so I'll first cast uh, Shape Water to direct the flow down and uh, down through the hole to propel him, and then I'll you know, squeeze in behind. Alright, so you're propelled slightly as you uh, make your way down this cave ribbon. Uh, as I said, it gets a little bit wider as you go in. Uh, the cave would turn south and you see it goes down about 20 feet and you see what looks like a skeleton uh, kind of stuck down there. Uh, and it looks like he might be reaching for something, but you can't see what it is. Or maybe reaching whoever, it, whoever it was was reaching for something. Do you want to swim closer look, and take a look? Does it look like it's moving? What well, Can I use one no. of the dancing lights? Uh, around, see if yeah, so like your light, I assume, uh, you send over there lighting up the area. Uh, it doesn't look like it's moving. You think it's just a skeleton from someone who probably drowned down here. They look okay, like they I'll... might be partially stuck in some of the rocks. Okay, I'll head down as to what they were reaching for. Okay. So you swim into this area. Uh, it looks like the cave does go deeper, uh, but where the skeleton is stuck, because you're kind of over here now, under the floor, uh, you would see... It looks like a small hole that he had his arm kind of reaching into, may have gotten stuck, and there is a dagger back there, sitting in the water. Can I get the dagger? 
You also notice this guy has a backpack on, which is kind of falling apart. Uh, can okay. you... So... Get the dog up. Actually, I'm not sure if you can, because you are a small creature, and I don't think you have the reach to grab it. Okay. Um, it's pretty uh, far in. Uh, Meldonis, did you come in here with him? Yeah. Okay, yep. so Meldonis, you would see these things as well swimming around down here. And also the um, cave I'll... coming down this way. I will try and get Riven's attention and point him to the ceiling. Um, and I'll swim up and I'll cast Shape Water to kind of like move five feet down if at all possible and to give us area to breathe. Or uh, catch a breath. So I don't know if there would actually be oxygen if you did that. Hmm. I can cast the tantric thrust and create oxygen. I think it works. It's wind. Uh, all right, sure. So well, you would really have to create air. Let me let me see shape water again. Oh, it's 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 up there. It's just okay. right before a couple of the things. <clears throat> So, I'm not sure if you could do that, just because it would be a lot of force because of just how far down you are. Uh, mm -hmm. You'd have to move a lot of water. So, I don't think you could actually do that to make a space. Yeah, it's, could it's, it really I do a lot of force? So, it, it's easier to do on the surface, but when you're down in this cave like this, you don't think it would work. Um, uh, could I... Because it says I can form the water into um, simple shapes. Yeah. Oh, I don't think that would work. Um, it may, it might. Like star is star simple, or do they yeah. mean like circle? That's <sighs> fine. I think we we should have enough time. Yeah, you're almost at a minute at this point. Uh, you've been underwater. Okay. I'm going to point Maldonis and point to the hole, and I'm going to go to the rucksack of the dude and see what's in it. Okay. I'll cast shape water to propel myself towards the the opening. All right. So yeah, you do look inside. You do see the uh, dagger back there, uh, just kind of laying on the rocks. It looks like this skeleton is stuck. Uh, maybe. He got his arm stuck while he was trying to get the dagger and got caught down here. It's hard to say. Uh, it looks like he's been down here for a while, though. Um, okay. So in the rut sack, it's uh, mostly anything that was in there is probably deteriorated at this point. But you would find a glass vial that is stoppered that has some sort of potion in it. Okay, I'll take that. I'll grab the, the dagger. All right, uh, so you reach for the dagger, and you are able to grab it, uh, pulling it out. It's kind of, you have to sh kind of move it kind of weirdly to get it through the hole, but yeah, you are able to get the dagger. Okay. And I assume you two are heading back? Mm-hmm. With the assistance of shape water. All right, so... I've still, like I've still got like two more minutes, so I might stay a little bit longer. Okay, well, I am heading back. You have, cool. I thought you only had two minutes. No, I have, if it's constitution modifier plus an extra, I have a plus two to constitution, so and then it would be three, minutes. so I have three minutes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so what are you doing if you stay here? Um. What else? What else? So you got the guy who was reaching for it. What else is down? Is it just a one straight corridor? Yeah, so the uh, cave continues to the east. Uh, but you don't see any place to breathe in there, so it might be dangerous. There's no, there's no rooms or anything. Like, there's no doorways into separate rooms from the... Uh, not that you can see, and this is actually, uh, this is a cave, so it's, you doubt there are rooms, per se. There's probably just, like, different branches of the cave, and you would guess they're all flooded. Okay. Uh, just because I'm curious myself, I want to see what Gust would do underwater. The cantrip dust, because, uh, yeah. 
Alright, so you Can cast you Gust. Go ahead and link it. Uh, so... It probably would just make a bunch of bubbles in the direction you blast the air. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. Would uh, it but, move me at all, or would it just move the water? Uh, I think it would probably move you slightly, though not enough to be like a propellant. Like you might just move back a little bit, because it's okay. a, it's it's not a powerful spell; it's a cantrip. I just want to know what it would do. I'll swim back then. Okay, so you swim back up yeah. and resurface. Yeah. Do the bubbles um, make their way up to where we're at? Do they bubble up where we're at? Uh, probably not, because he was down in this uh, little chamber down here, so they're probably just stuck on the uh, water. Alright, it was a fart joke. As I pass through the hole, I want to see if... No, because that's... No, that doesn't do anything. No, ignore me. Alright, so you splash up uh, you and Meldonis, and you would see he has some kind of Fancy looking dagger and Riven has a potion. Nice haul, guys. What do you have? Uh, I found this. Not really much use I can have for it, but. What does it do? Um, well, if you stab somebody with it, it hurts a lot. Oh, I'll take that then. Thank you. Milo says, uh, well, does anyone have, uh, that identifying thing? Oh, wait, I think I do. Does Milo I'll hand him the dagger. I don't think he can't, uh, I don't think he has it, but whatever. Oh, uh, didn't one of your people have it? I don't. That was, oh. oh, that was, I mean, uh, Tal that has it. And he says, yeah, why don't you give it to Tal? You can probably figure out what it does. I okay. assume it would be magical since it hasn't fallen apart being underwater that long. It's metal. Yes. Okay. It's got a point. <laughs> no, no, I mean, metal doesn't fall apart that easily, I think. Yeah, it's, sure. it's not rusted. Yeah, I, I guess I guess uh, depends on what type of metal, but we you check it out anyway. Okay. So, do we want to continue here first, or what do we think? Like, fair warning, there was a warning on the uh, on the magic thingy on the other ha hallway. I don't know what exactly what it is, was, but it says to be wary warning? when entering the southern laboratory or something. How so dangerous this, yeah. can a bathroom be? It's not a bathroom, it's a laboratory. Yeah, a well, bathroom. No, no. no. no lavatory. Yeah, we, lab a lavatory, bathroom. We ran into quite a bit of, of trouble out here, and they didn't warn about that, so... Ah, sorry. Someone check for traps, then we go in. Alright, well, Tal, if you're looking at the door, it uh, doesn't appear to have any obvious traps. There's no tripwires or any type of uh, magical devices that you can tell. It looks like the doors push inward, uh, if you want to try to open them. I'm trying to open them. Alright, so they are locked. You would push against the door, but uh, it does not seem to want to open. Okay. Mm. So, can anyone open this? Yeah, anyone want to try? I'll hit it really hard. Scurry, uh, do you know how to open locks? Scurry muted. Uh, what's your passive perception, Nalo? Uh, Nalo isn't here. Or Minus sorry. 17. Uh, yeah. Uh, Tal. Uh, so as you look back to Scurry, you think you hear some noise on the other side of the door. What kind of noise? Uh, it sounds like a flowing wind, or like a blowing wind. Uh, and a moment later, you would see a creature suddenly pass through the door as if it wasn't even there. Oh, oh great. Uh, I uh, will say that you did hear them, so uh, Tal, 
You are not surprised, but I need initiative rolls. As this strange-looking, ghost-like creature suddenly appears within the room through the wall. I don't think you've seen these before. Uh, so yeah, give me initiative checks. Is Scurry here, or did he uh, lose connection again? I see him in Discord, but I'm not hearing him. Uh, also, it looks like someone may have rolled as a torch again, so I'm going to delete that. Alright, so... The creature seems upset by the group's uh, presence. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so the first to go is actually someone that isn't in the room as uh, you would see another creature appear over here and again this is another thing you haven't seen before oh great as a semi-transparent purplish spirit uh, comes through the wall and it also seems very unhappy that the group is here uh, it had to use all its movement to get there, so it can't do anything this round. Uh, and then... Oh, oh. I'll be right back. He's using the restroom. <laughs> okay. I'm here. Oh, are you here? Yeah. Do I have an initiative roll? Yeah, okay, I do. Uh, so, Scurry is here. Uh, go ahead, Scurry. I'll have you jump in here. What do you want to do? Uh, oh wait, uh, uh, you are actually surprised, I believe. Sorry. I can't uh, be. Oh, you can't be? Alright, so then you can act. So this strange looking, darkish creature uh, came flowing through the wall. And seems very unhappy. I will go here, and I will stab the guy that is right there. Alright, so you rush over there attacking. Uh, are your hit points really 23? Uh, I don't know why it says 23. Uh, it will be based off I'm of your shoot it says that, 9. That fight, that's off the uh, last fight we had, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so, did you, uh, you probably I'm not sure if we got a, yeah, you we get a, a long rest you after did the last a, fight? A short rest, so you can spend mm -hmm. some hit dice. <clears throat> you spend one of your short rests. Roll some there. Okay, that's not enough. Roll all of them. Alright, so you got back, uh, what is that, 27, 28? Alright, so you rush up and attack that creature with the flank. Uh, but it's advantage. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, 13 with the flank would be 15. That would strike. Okay. So you strike for 15 points. Uh, do you have a magical weapon? Nope. So you strike for 7 points of damage as it seems to resist your blade. Uh, that's it for you, Scurry? No! No, uh, bonus action. Bonus action. Da dagger. Alright, so the dagger would strike as well, uh, I assume not magical? Not magical, yep. So it would do one point of damage. And the creature angrily turns towards you. Uh, is that it for you? Yep. Alright, so now this guy went, uh, he comes through the wall, and he is going to dash over at Riven. Uh, Didn't he already go? He 
did, but uh, he didn't finish his dash because Scurry was going. Uh, so there, w that was his full movement to get over to Ribbon with his double move. So since it's running away from where, like, Talon and them are, did they get opportunity attacks? Uh, it didn't actually go next to Tal, I don't think. It oh, came. Okay. It would have come out over here. Uh, I just got kind of confused because the order got moved around. Uh, so another one comes through the wall here. Uh, and it is going to go for Tal. So he lunges at you, Tal, with a life drain attack. Uh, 17 versus AC. Misses. Alright, so you bring your shield up and kind of get in the way of the life drain attempt, keeping him at bay. Uh, Riven, you would be next. You are surprised, unfortunately. Right. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, but if I do a spell, is it just if I do a spell at the one near me, if I do any spell, I'm at disadvantage because of how close he is to me. Uh, yeah, though you, uh, like I said, are unfortunately surprised this turn. I'm at disadvantage anyway. Okay. Alright, so another one appears and is going for oh. Scurry. Fucking hell. Okay, fine. Uh, the one nearest me, because I'm at disadvantage anyway, fuck it. I'm going to Guiding Bolt. You can't. It's not your oh, turn. Oh, I can't. Uh, you okay. were surprised first turn and did not get to act. Oh, okay. So Scurry, you were attacked with Flank. Uh, 11 would not be enough, I assume, as you dodge out of the way. Uh, Mia, you're up. Okay. Oh, wait, you are, you are surprised unless your passive <laughs> is 15 or over. And unless also, I what 15 or over? Your passive perception, which I don't believe it is. It's 12, yeah. yeah. So you would be surprised. So we have three pink floaty dudes. And one gray floaty dude. Yep. Yep. And we're all gonna die. Uh, Tal, you are not surprised, so you get to act this turn. Gonna uh, use my channel divinity oh, and right. try to scare them all away. So you summon forth holy energy from your symbol as radiant light pours out. Uh, they must make, was it wisdom saves? Yep. Against DC 15. Uh, so the first one over here resists. Uh, the second one to the north. Uh, 11, I think, would fail. So he is turned. Uh, the Wraith over here next to you. Uh, 14? Stays. You say stays? No, no, uh, he fails. Uh, DC is 15. 15, okay. So he is turned. Uh, this one back here. Is, let's see. Uh, 10, he is turned as well. So three... Do I know which one succeeded? Yeah, so you see okay. three of them start to back off as the light flows over them, and you can tell that they have been affected. I'm gonna yell at my party. Only at this one. Let the other ones run away. And I think I'm gonna have to end my turn here. Alright, Meldonis. You are surprised. surprised. Uh, the Wraith goes, so yeah, as it was about to go for Meldonis, the light pours over it and it goes ah, and backs up. Uh, it is going to flee this way, giving everyone oppies if they want to take them. Is anyone taking oppies on it? Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. What? Really? I can do. You know it? Well, I just told you not to! <laughs> uh, Alright, so Scurry, you would strike, yes. uh, which would immediately break the effect, and it turns and attacks uh, Scurry. Well, actually, uh, how much damage did you deal? Uh, so six, three, plus six, nine points of damage. Uh, so it would kind of come over to here, uh, and it's going to, yeah, be awakened by that. Fly back down and attack you, Scurry, with a life drain. 19 versus AC. I mean, that ribbon gets an oppie. Uh, 
Riven. Yeah, Riven, you can get an Afi on it if you want to take it. Yeah, but it's a hand weapon and I don't have any. I'm not very good with them, so no, not really. Uh, Go away. Yeah. So I think 19 would strike you, right? Scurry. What? Uh, 19 versus AC. Yeah, it hits. All right, so you take 21 necrotic, and I need a con save. <clears throat> All right, so unfortunately that is permanent damage, and your max HP is reduced by 21. Uh, that is it okay. for the Wraith. Uh, Scurry, what are you going to do? Top of the round. Uh, I'll, I'll stab it again. All right, you stab at it again. Ha ha. Oh, but eight would not be enough, and it dodges to the side, avoiding the attack. That is, uh, it for up 23 would hit, though, with the second attack as you swing around, doing another uh, five, seven points of damage. Or oh, wait, uh, that's only a one, so five points of damage because it shouldn't be giving you the plus two on that. Okay. Uh, anything else? No, that's it. Uh, the Spectre goes... Or no, wait. Yeah, the Spectre goes. It is turned, so it's going to fly off this way. Uh, Riven, are you going to attack it? Or oh, I guess uh, you can't. <laughs> no, I'm letting it go. So 5, 10, 15, 20... 30, and then it just keeps falling <coughs> down the hallway to the north. Uh, next up is this specter, who's going to go for you, Tal, because he was not turned. Oh, but 8 is probably not enough as you continue to keep him at bay. Uh, Riven. Right. Uh, okay, fine. So, the... Hmm, which one would I go for? Which one do I think is good? Just because of how badly it's hurt Scurry, I'm going to go for the, uh, not the pink one, the black one there. I'm right. going to Guiding Bolt in. This guy? Yeah. Alright, so you, uh, as you see it draining Scurry's life, you throw a Guiding Bolt. Uh, 20 would definitely strike, blasting That's him with ten. Radiant Energy. Alright, I'm going to do... I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it, uh... Yes, but it's second level. Uh, so you cast it at... What is that, level 2 or 3? Level 2. Okay. Oh, good roll. Uh, 25 Radiant. Uh, you sear the creature with light, and it looks actually very wounded from that attack. Look off back there! Uh, and it looks very angry at you now. Uh, anything else? Uh, I'm just going to look at it and just go, No, go away, go away, go away! And that's it. Alright. Uh, this creature is going to fly up this way, uh, giving you an oppie if you want it, Scurry. I'm good. Alright, so he goes 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 30. Uh, Riven, I assume you're not taking an oppie either? Nope. Nope, nope. Right, so he's gonna go. Oh, oh wave as he goes back. Bye. Yeah, he f flies away very unhappy. Uh, Mia, do we have a Mia? Mm -hmm. um, sorry, <laughs> the combat master menu popped up and it totally distracted me. I was like, oh, I need to know those. Sorry. Um, no worries. So two of them have flown away. Yeah, it right? seems like uh, after Tal did his turn, uh, several of them retreated, uh, but there are still two of them that are fighting. And there's that Wraith guy right here beside me. Yeah, that Riven just blasted with radiant energy. Yeah. Um, can I cast Hunter's Mark on him? Uh, yeah, you can. That would be I a bonus that. action. Alright, yep. so you chant summoning nature energies. He is Hunter's Marked. And then I am going to do a double attack with my sh uh, sword sword. Okay. 
Uh, so 23 would strike, and this weapon is not magical, right? Mm-mm, no. So I'm it sure. does 5 plus 3, so that's 2 and 1, so 3 points of damage and a d6. Mm-hmm. For your uh, oh, you mark. Yeah, yeah, for your hunter's mark. Yeah. Uh, so that is two, three, four points of damage on the first attack. As you and wound it. The second one is a, it does eleven and nine hit. Uh no. Eleven would miss as it dodges to the okay. side, avoiding the attack. Uh, anything else? That's all I can do. Alright, uh Tal. I'm going to hit the thing in front of me. Alright, so you go for the specter that is attacking you. Yes. Uh, You do indeed connect. 22 would strike with a booming mace. Uh, Is the mace magical? Nope. Alright, so it does four points of damage. Uh, And let me check thunder. Does thunder work on this thing? Uh, He is resistant to thunder as well, so he takes six points of damage total from the attack. Okay. Uh, His incorporeal body seems to be resistant to your physical attack. Do I know if Gary was full HP before he... Uh, took uh that he probably wasn't. He definitely looks wounded now. Okay, I'm gonna pass healing word on him. Alright, so you do a healing word on Scurry, uh, healing him for five. Giving him voice of authority. Which gives him a reaction attack, right? Yeah. Alright, so Scurry, if you want, you can spend your reaction to attack something. Uh, yes, 18 would strike. I assume you're going for the Wraith doing 5, 7 points of damage. Yep. Uh, anything else, Tal? Nope. Alright, Meldonis. Uh, Mind Sliver on the Wraith. Alright, so the Wraith will attempt to resist with an int save. Uh, I believe it fails, right? Yep, that is correct. It takes 10 psychic damage, uh, and it would go... (sighs) being destroyed by your psychic attack. Uh, Anything else? Um... No. Alright, Scurry. Top of the round again. Uh, I will go ahead and move around them and stab this guy in the back, I guess. Alright, so Scurry moves around, but uh, 12 I don't think is enough. Oh, actually, that is just enough. Uh, so you would strike with your rapier. This is not a very well armored opponent. Uh, it would take 4 points of damage on your first attack. And uh, 13 would strike again for another... (sighs) Nothing. Uh, It would take half damage and round down, so it would take nothing from the dagger. Just kind of pass through it. Uh, Anything else, Scurry? No, that's it. Okay. Uh, So the one specter continues retreating. Uh, Then this one goes. It's going to go for Tal, because Tal is, uh, is hit it harder. Life drain. Uh, once again, Tal keeps it back as it continues to lunge at you. Ribbon, what are you going to do? Uh, well, the only one left, I'm going to mind sliver it. Alright. Psychic damage. So it attempts to resist using an int save. Uh, which it will, apparently, uh, resisting your mind sliver. Uh, and. Anything I'm else? going to fly. A, I'm going to fly a bit more away. Okay. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's everything. So you back off. Uh, the other specter is going to retreat. Uh, Mia, what are you going to do? Uh, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to cast Wounds on screen on the second level. All right. So you do a Cure Wounds, uh, giving Scurry 11 hit points back. And does my Hunter's Mark switch over? Can I switch over to this pinky dude down here? 
Uh, you can do that as a bonus action if you want to switch it. Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and switch that as a bonus action down to... Alright, so you re-channel the energies around this one. Uh, anything else? Uh, I think that's all I can do, right? Because if I use magic, I can't switch over to weaponry, can I? Uh, sorry, what was the question? If I use, if I start off with a magic spell, am I able, I don't... Well, you didn't you didn't cast anything this turn. You did uh, well. No, that's so sorry. You used your action for cure, so I think you yeah, are out of me. actions. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna end it there. All right, Tal. What do you want to do? I'm gonna try it with fire this time. Uh, you attack with a flaming mace. Uh, 18 would strike. Uh, and the specter would take. Two bludgeoning and one fire. Uh, it seems to be resistant to fire as well. Resistant to everything. Okay. And then I'm gonna end my turn. Uh, Meldonis. Uh, Mind Sliver. Alright, so you cast another Mind Sliver targeting this one. It will attempt a in save. Uh, 16. Yep. So it yep. resists as a hero specter. Uh, anything else? Nope. Alright, scurry. I'll stab it again. Alright, so you lunge at the creature. Uh, 21 will land a hit for 5 and 4. 9 points of damage, which would be enough to drop it. And the group is safe, at least for now. What do you all want to do? Oh, Mia is dead. I'm dead? <laughs> uh, apparently you're dead. What? I don't know. You may have marked yourself okay. with an X by accident. Did I? I didn't mean to. Oh, I'll undead myself. That's fine. A few seconds until the other two come back. I don't want to be dead. Uh, yeah, so you what? assume they're still turned, but Tal lets you know that they might come back soon. So what does the group want to do? Well, we can't go back the way we came, because that's where they're heading. <clears throat> Wait, we just kill them. Well, let's go to the bathroom, then. Oh, do we want to take a bathroom break? No, I think she no, I think she was a There's a lavatory. And oh. Is the ice bridge still up? Uh, it's probably no. melted by now. Uh, but actually, that is a good point. We're about halfway through, so why don't we take a five-minute uh, stretch break, since we got some people back and they can use the restroom and everything uh so yeah let's meet back up at 12 48 and continue all right all right and i think nalo just messaged me so he might be on his way he was here for a minute and then he left again yeah he says he only has his phone with him he's on vacation so i'm guessing he oh. might not be coming in today let me see How fun. I'll be right back. I'm going to go get a energy drink. Coffee sounds good. Yes, beer. Be.
Alright, I am back. I am also back. I am back as well. How's your energy drink? Yeah. I didn't have any. It's very disappointing. Oh. I had another uh, another one, but I don't. So, just having a Mio instead. That is not an adequate substitute. No. It's like when you think that you got Dr. Pepper, <sighs> but it was really root beer. No. Well, I like both Dr. Pepper and root beer. Oh, you're you. Alright, do we have a ribbon? Yep. And do we have a scurry? Scurry still awake? Did you forget to put your mic down? I'm eating. Uh, okay. Alright. Uh, so, yeah, what does the group want to do? Mm. Oh, yeah. Find a way through this door. Uh, I think that's a bad idea until we've taken care of these things. What thing? The two that, <sighs> that, that will back. come back in a few seconds. But well, shall we, we set up a trap? Door, we can close it behind us. Oh, I do have a trap. I mean, I do have a trap. I mean, I don't mean physically, um, but we can be ready for when they come in. All right, so you want to just wait and get ready for when they come back? But I have a hunting trap. Well, yeah, but they're not very susceptible to physical. Yeah, being that these are ghosts, you're not sure how effective that will be against it. Fair. All right, Fair. well, some time is passing, uh, but they don't seem to be coming back. Now can I bust through the door? Or at least uh, I'll say you've waited about five minutes and nothing has come back. Also, Scurry looks a bit drained from his encounter. So, how is everyone feeling about going on? Well, I well, personally would there. like to go back, but that's just me. Well, maybe just open the door, because they're not there. And then if they do come, we just run across the water again. Well, can we at least make our escape route first and have the ice bridge behind us? Alright. I'll start freezing. And I'll put... I'll cast Cure Wounds on Scurry to kind of help him out a little bit. So Scurry is at full health, but it looks oh, like well, he then. has been uh, drained. Does anyone have medicine? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you think that he has uh, been energy drained. Uh, you think it'll probably take a day worth a day's worth of bed rest, uh, but he should be okay. But for now, he's going to not be as healthy. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's not permanent. Yeah. Uh, Semi-permanent. Permanent for now, I guess. I guess the word permanent is misleading. But yeah, according to what uh, Tal is telling you, it will probably heal over uh, a long rest. That's so, good. Uh, so, how long does it take you to make that ice bridge, Maldonis? Um, let's see, how many squares? One, two, three, four. Is it just one round per square? Yeah, it's it's just an action. And how square. long how long does the ice last? An hour. It will Oh, okay. Well then your other one should still be there. Oh, all it's right. It's only been like maybe twenty minutes since you came down here. Uh so yeah, the other one so the ice bridge would still be there. I mean even though it's unsatisfying, I would also vote to go back. Scurry is hurt. I we will go back. We will go back. I just want to see what's in there. What's in the room? What's yeah, in because... the room? For all we know, when we come back, those things are going to be back in there and we've got to go through all this again. Whereas if we look now, we see if it's worthwhile or not. So I can bust through it now? Yeah, go on. Yes! 
I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it as hard as I can. Uh, so the door is still locked. Are you gonna try to bust it down? Oh yeah. All right. Give me a strength check. Uh, this will make noise. Everybody get ready to run. Uh, strength check, not save. But I can use that number. Uh, so that would be 21, I believe. Uh, so yes, you kick the door, which from being as old as it is, uh, while it doesn't smash open, it ju it does burst open. Um, so the door is still intact, but the lock is broken. And it opens into a... Uh, <clears throat> looks like a large room with another one of those uh, pillars in it, uh, and more of those glowing skeletons just kind of shambling around. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Day. Mia, Mia has like, an open. Uh, Mia, cross this bridge <laughs> as I fly over my head. Nope. And it I does seem like there are a couple of light sources in the room. Uh, so, Riven, you kind of float in uh, to which you see another one of those uh, fireplaces, uh, another pot, and what looks like another alchemy bench, as well as uh, some debris over here. It looks very Do similar. Skeleton... Go ahead, sorry. Do the skeletons look like they want to eat me? Or they no, the skeletons spine? are not even paying attention to you. They're just kind of standing there. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm going to come in. Uh, one of much like those other skeletons, they weren't a problem until they exploded. Yeah, I'm going to go look at that fireplace. Okay. Oh. So you fly... I want to <clears> find <throat> a log. Go ahead, sorry. <laughs> I want to find the log with the rune on. Alright, so you look through the fireplace, and you do indeed find that one of the logs has a marking. And you would also find a similar three-button... Uh, or four button, sorry, four button, uh, like um, panel in the back. Does the log have the same marking as the log from the first room, which was like the, if I remember correctly, I wrote down somewhere the number two, which was the wind rune. Uh, it has. Hang on, let me check my notes. Uh, yes, it has another one of those wind runes on it. Okay. Then, I don't know what everyone else is doing. I'm flying over to the debris to see if I can find that chair leg and the rune on that one. Uh, so, you would find a couple of pieces of wood. Uh, you don't find the exact same chair, but... You, uh, give me a perception check, if you're looking. I'm going to shout by the way. It's fine, no one's in! Are you actually shouting? To them lot there. Right. Like, back there, that was in the doorway. Roll this dice for no particular time. reason. God! Okay. <laughs> what have uh, I done? Alright, so yeah, you hear, There's no one in here! And someone shouts. Uh, so yes, you do indeed find a, uh, after searching for a bit, a piece of wood with another marking on it. Uh, it is, let's see, it is the water marking. I'll look in the, uh, the pot. Alright, so this pot is empty. It doesn't have, like, a weird black, uh, <clears throat> like, black substance at the bottom of it. And, uh, at the bottom of the pot, you see a marking. Mmm. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you, you don't know exactly what the marking is, but there is a symbol on the bottom of the pot. I'll get Riven's attention and usher him over. Yeah, come in. Fly over. Okay. Have a look. So, looking down, you see that, yes, this big iron pot has a symbol on the bottom of it. Which, maybe the this? other one does too, but you wouldn't have been able to see it because of the black goop. But if I know that's fire, if I know the other three was fire, water, wind, can I guess it's earth? Or no? 
Uh, sure, you guess whatever you want. Cool. <laughs> I don't know if I can do. I need to do an Arcana check to see what it is, or insight, or what. Uh, what was it last time that you did? I think it was. Yes. It was comprehend languages. Yeah, I think it was comprehend languages. So that probably wouldn't still be running at this point. Uh, but I mean, you could take a guess if this is the only symbol you didn't know. Yeah, and we know from the before it was the the other one was Earth. So yeah, Earth. You would guess that this is the Earth symbol. Yeah, and I'm going to fly and look under the alchemist's table for the last one. Okay. Sorry, give me one second. I was just typing something. Wow, why is that not working? Hmm. All right, uh, so you would look under the alchemist table, and uh, yes, you would find the symbol there as well. Fire. Which you would Should assume fire, is fire, yeah. <clears throat> well, it would look like the fire one from the, under the table before. Ooh, yeah. All right. And ooh, hey, I'm being very adventurous. Under the what's under the cloth? So there's a cloth to the south of me on the map. There's something like under a cloth. Uh, yeah. Um, so it looks like uh, this is a painting, and uh, like the other, uh, like the other uh, pillar, the runes run along the floor into the wall under the painting. There's also a caved-in passageway here, uh, and actually, okay. Tal and Meldonis, you're at the, uh, you're still at the entrance, right? Yep. So, Riven, you would note as you fly past that there might be a passage on the other side of the cave-in. Do I feel the wind, or just light, or just... Uh, you have... It like well, a... do you have dark vision? No. Oh, well then I lied. You could guess, though, that this was a hallway of some sort, from the way the okay, uh, room like... is shaped. Yeah. So there's like a doorway, which I'm guessing is blocked by something falling in. Yeah, like maybe the uh, ceiling gave way here and a huge rock just crushed the door and a bunch of, uh, basically just sealed the, the passage there. Okay. I don't know, should I ask Nalo? Nalo's got Unseen Sir. Nalo, you've got Unseen Serpent, haven't you? Uh, he says, yeah, I think I do. I'll have to check my spell can he, list. Can he press buttons for a code? Uh, I think Unseen Servant can do that. Because I have an idea. Yeah, it's only 24 combinations, so <laughs> that would take us uh, four hours. Blowing up the room over and over. I'm going to do all of them. I've just got an idea for the order in which to do it. Uh, oh, so it's mindless, shapeless, uh, simple tasks. Um... I don't know if you could tell it. I mean, because it wouldn't necessarily. Let me let me just read through the spell. Are you guys still alive down there? No, we're all dead. Wait, Damn it! Wait, are you yelling across the room? No, I just. No, I wasn't. No, I'm stopping talking now. Right. I'm yelling over at them. You're yelling over at them. I'm gonna roll this dice for no particular reason. Oh god, everybody run! Oh god, what dice? Nothing. Uh, so... <laughs> sure, I'll say, uh... I'll say you could tell it to press buttons. Sure, why not? It is a, uh... Okay. Uh, it's a first level spell, so yeah. It could probably figure out which symbols which if you told it. Does anyone want to do anything in the room before I potentially set the entire place on fire? Are you gonna blow up all the skeletons again, Nalo says? I'm not. Your unseen servant is. Uh, are you sure this is a good idea? Well, nothing happened last time, except the room. Grab everything of value off of the alchemist bench. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, actually what I was about to say. Nalo says. <laughs> that's what I was um, <laughs> oh, I another thing. Uh, sorry that you would notice it is that there are runes on this door over here. 
uh, half of them are lit up, the other half are not. So like the uh, the north side of the door runes are lit up, the south side of the door is not lit up. So well, if you blow things up, it's probably going to open here. Uh, but as for what's on the table, uh, taking a quick look, you would see more alchemy instruments, uh, probably a high quality alchemy set. Uh, there are also a hundred gold pieces worth of arcane components and a hundred gold pieces worth of rare herbs. A hundred arcane components and then 100 herbs? Yeah, 100 GP of uh, arcane components and 100 gold pieces of rare herbs. All right, note it down. Right. Uh, Before yeah. I do anything to the Unseen Seven, can I go and look at those runes under the door? Uh, which runes? The half glowy ones, half not. Oh, on the door? Like, Sorry, they're on the door. Uh, yeah, you can go check them out. I just do like an arcana check to see if I recognize them or I know what they do or what's going to happen when a Yeah, so ar room arcana or actually nature or religion might tell you something. You can use any of those. Yeah, no, I'm only good in one. Okay. Uh, you think that they are probably lit up because of the other pillar that you powered. Uh, and you would guess that this pillar here would power the other half. Though what they actually do, you're not sure. Uh, do you want to try to touch them or interact with them in any way? No, no, not touching anything. Okay. But the other pillar got powered up when I set the explosions off. Yes, right. so when the skeletons exploded, the pillar pulled a bunch of the arcane energy from the explosion into it, which is what powered it. Okay, I'm going to fly out to everybody in the corridor, and I'm going to ask this. Wait. Right, three things. One, the half little I'm going to tell them about the runes and how it, the explosions made it glow, and when this happens with this one, it'll happen with that one, and I don't know what it'll do. Um... So we've got two options. We can either ask Mallow's Unseen Servant to set the runes off in a way I think might work as a code for it. Or we can go have a long rest, come back tomorrow, and do try it then, because I don't know what's going to come out from behind the door. I like what option you two. Do? I say do it. I'll be over here, and you do it. Anyone Wait, else? You're saying do it, but you're not even going to be part of it, Nalo says? I mean, I'm not getting exploded. I'll be here. I'll swim in the water, and then when the explosions are over, we'll see what's what. Uh, Tal, Nalo, Scurry, your opinions? Do it tomorrow? No. Do it tomorrow. Also, yep. uh, is there anything we can loot from these rays? Uh... Yes, so they did leave behind a spectral essence. Uh, one is a specter essence, the other is a wraith essence. Um, I think Riven has Arcana, so he would know that they are distinct if you want to separate them, but they can also be combined as undead essence, which would uh, kind of muddy the, muddy the uh, essence type a bit, but if you want to save space on containers. So separate them all. Tell me if there's ten blanket ones from before. I got ten, yeah. Alright, so you want to try to gather the uh, Wraith and the Specter Essence? That would be Arcana or Alchemy checks to do so. I'll help with Arcana. Okay. Or I'll do it. Which so one do you want take to? a minute for each one. Go ahead and make a, a check. Up to two of you can work on this. Oh, good roll. <laughs> Uh, so you would get 40 gold pieces worth of Wraith Essence, uh, if you want to spend a new vial, you can put that separate, and you would get, uh, f 10 gold pieces of Spectre Essence. Right. If you want to spend so, the two we're vials go for those. I say yeah, but I'm not, I haven't got them. Alright, well, what does the group want to do? I say come back tomorrow. 
I say blow it up now. I say come back tomorrow. Oh, Two for tomorrow, one for today, everybody else. Three Nalo? For Three for tomorrow. Oh. Nalo? <laughs> Sherry? What do you guys want to do? Nalo would say, uh, hey, I'm fine coming back. So four for tomorrow. So sorry, Mia, you're outvoted. We come back tomorrow. Alright. Alright. That's the group Let begins. Me know to play with the, bear, the group begins to head back. So let me go first. Uh, as as you uh, get up here, you see lights coming from the north. Oh god. Why are there torches like everywhere? I'd spread my dancing lights out so I could see when they'd come back. Alright, so yeah, you see lights coming from the northern hallway, and actually, uh, Tally, you would hear voices. Someone's up there. We're fucked. Stay here. Do we hide or do we greet I'll them? Go invis I'll go invisible and go and have a look. Are you gonna get rid of your lights? Yeah, if I do invisible, I'll have to get rid of the lights. Because I eat the concentration, the invisibility. Right, so, so you're... That's still good. Lights will wink out as you suddenly poof, turning invisible. I'll go ahead and spend the spell. Also, I keep getting background noise, I think, from Mia. Might be the, uh, the computer. But, uh, alright, so you would turn invisible and start heading up that way. Uh, is there a symbol for invisibility? Uh, yeah, so it is... Uh, I think it's the ninja one, but let me double check that. Uh, it is the, yeah, it's the ninja one, so it's like the guy with the mask, ninja mask. Here, I'll, I'll mark you so you can see. Oh, you got it, okay. Uh, what about the rest of you? <laughs> you know, I've just realized I've got invisible and I can't see anything in darkness. <laughs> yeah, that, well, like I said, there are lights up ahead. So yeah. um, here, let me uh, let me represent that on the map so you can kind of see them, since your lights went out now. Uh, I love the idea. Everyone's like, "I'll go have a look." Lands goes invisible and then just starts hitting walls. It's like, oh, oh, oh. Right, So can you kind of see now? Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I just like the idea. No, no. Uh, so you start flying forward. Uh, you're gonna. Yeah, I've landed. I've landed. I've landed because I know what because people can hear me with to hear the wings, so I've well, landed and I'm walking. So if you're gonna walk, you would still have to make a stealth check to not be heard, because they could also hear footsteps. So go ahead and give me a stealth check. If I was flying, I'd have to do stealth. It doesn't really make a difference. Yeah, either way, uh, you'd have to stealth. Invisibility just helps it uh, keep them from pinpointing you. But all right, well, God. that's sleight of hand. Oh shit! Sorry, I thought it was stealth. Not really much better. Alright. Uh, so you're walking up there. Uh, I assume you're gonna go up to the uh, corner here and see what's going on. I'm gonna. You know where the doorway is? I'm gonna go to the doorway to see if I can hear anything any better. Okay. Uh, what's your perception? Uh, We're gonna, passive. Uh, well, make, a, make an active one because I assume you're gonna be okay. listening. Uh, so you can kind of hear voices. One of them sounds feminine, uh, and you think that she is saying something about uh, the areas are open now. Someone must be down here. Uh, and she's basically telling people to look around. Okay, because this is the door that we normally come in and go out, isn't it? This one. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's this one here. So, because in front of that, because there was sand there, wasn't there? Like, in front, just on the ground. So, can I go and stand in the sand? That will cover up my footstep. Well, no, it won't, because you'll see that you imprinted. No, because they know someone's there. Yeah, so can I go stand in the sand? 
Uh, I mean, you could try to them. walk through it. It's not going to hide. You'd still may be making stealth checks. It's not going to make it that much easier. Uh, do you want to go up and try to take a look? Uh, <laughs> yes and no, because I know I'm going to roll really badly. Um, I'll, it's, I'm going to walk around the sand, hopefully not making a noise, okay. just to be near the door so, so I there... can look straight down there is some noise coming from over here from people walking around. Uh, go ahead and give me a stealth check as you okay. walk up and not, try to peek not, around. Not the door there in, the other door we come out and go in from. Does that make sense? Uh, peek into this door? No, I'm going to stand at that door to look straight down the corridor. Oh, I see. All right. And actually, at this point, you would hear movement from behind you kind of over here and another light would kind of start shining down from the spider room. There might be someone okay. in there now. Then I'm just going to stand still and not move and just listen. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you hear people like... basically moving around. Uh, someone says, uh, I think there's a chest over here, but there's nothing left in it. Someone's been through here. Oh yeah, look at all these dead spiders. Someone's definitely been through here. This was recent. Um, okay. What do you want to do? Uh, can I tell how close the people that were are in the spider room are? Like, if they're closer than the ones up the other side or not? So, you think the people in the spider room are definitely closer? Uh, the ones up north seem to be receding, uh, probably back towards the lab, but it's hard to know for sure, especially with your passive perception. And by the way, you uh, all down here would see the light over here now as well. As you're hiding down there. I would I like to ready in action to uh, attack as soon as anybody like passes through this door opening. Uh, well, that So you can't ready out of combat, that's just initiative. But uh, you can have your weapons in hand if you want. And just uh, be ready for a fight. Um, I would like to create um, a minor illusion of a uh, crate right okay. here. Uh, so you're going to chant making some noise to cast the spell? I don't think it has a verbal. Oh, it does have a verbal. That's stupid. <laughs> nope. It does not. It's only somatic and material. Uh, so... Oh, let me uh, let me see the minor illusion spell, or uh, yeah. yeah, it's the cantrip, right? So on here it's listed as verbal and somatic, but on D and D Beyond it's listed as somatic and material. This is minor image. I can look it up real quick. It should be minor illusion. Minor illusion. Minor illusion. Uh... Yeah, so it is listed as somatic and material. Uh, so in general, casting, uh, making magic does produce some... It's not just the chanting, it's also the forming of magic. Uh, but it might not be that loud. So it just depends on how good their perceptions are. If they might hear something. Because okay. whenever you shape magic, you, you make some... Uh, it, it basically makes some... Uh, I don't want to say like a lot of noise, but like some, yeah, some enchant, uh, you know what I mean. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, do you want to do that? Uh, well, I mean. Make a little crate appear there. Yeah. All right, so a five foot crate, like a mm -hmm. full five feet. All right, so you do some chanting as uh, the magic. No chanting. Or sorry, you do some gesturing as the magic swirl, creating a crate. Uh, so far, no one seems to have noticed. Uh, Riven, you know, well, Riven, you see it down here that a crate would suddenly appear. Uh, but you just continue to hear what sounds like people searching around in the room. Uh, all I'm thinking, all I'm thinking to myself is, I should have brought Scurry, I should have brought Scurry, I should have brought Scurry. So <laughs> That's all I'm thinking ahead. <laughs> a moment later... A woman peeks around the corner 
uh, and takes a look down the hallway. And you would see, looks like an elf. Uh, I'll give you a picture of her. Does she look to me or down where the others are? Uh, she's kind of looking both ways. Uh, she says, I believe this hallway is empty. Uh, I, I don't see anyone. And she actually is going to wave her hands and chant. Uh, and actually, Meldonis, uh, and actually, I'm... or go ahead, sorry. Oh, no, no, go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, you, uh, you all give me uh, stealth checks at this point. Uh, Tal, Scurry, Meldonis, and Mia. She kind of lights up this area with a light spell. Would I recognize her from when I flew over Blackwater's mansion? Oh, uh, actually, you might. Where did you see her? When I did my <laughs> my solo spying, and I flew over the. I was flying over the parapet. Remember, and I was I looked down and saw the elf in the uh, courtyard. Ah, uh, yes, and then we saw her when we were talking to her. Yeah. And then oh, we saw her when uh, we were... yes, then you would recognize her if you saw her uh, in the courtyard and uh, in Blackwater's estate. This looks like one of Blackwater's people. Is this the lady that I uh, talked to telling her that I, um, Galen had a book for her? Yes, that's right. Uh, so oh. you all recognize her. This is one of Galen's uh, mercenaries. You believe a wizard. Um she seems nice enough when you've spoken to her in the past, but she's kind of looking around. Uh, she obviously doesn't notice you, Riven. Uh, kind of looks south. She, let's see, Mia got a five. Uh, no, actually, she wouldn't notice Mia either. Um, she kind of <laughs> looks and says, I could have sworn I heard something. And she looks down the hallway. I think I see a crate. I'm going to go I will like to slowly back away from the crate. <laughs> okay. Uh, so she is kind of walking down the hall. Uh, she says, is anyone there? Hello? Uh, she's coming towards the group. Do any of you want to do anything? And you hear a voice say, miss, be careful. We don't know who's down here. There could be traps. And she would say, yes, I'm keeping an eye out. I'm ready I'm, to knock him out. That's all I'm doing. I'm gonna walk out and I'm gonna go. Hello! I oh God! She here, like jumps I'm back. Kill them all. Oh, oh! You almost gave me a heart attack. Good Lord, woman! Oh, you're big. Sorry. Uh, uh, Sorry. Wait, I I know you. Uh, you're. I know you too. You were, aren't you with the uh, the uh, the heroes, right? Yes. And oh. you're the badass uh, wizard person, yeah? Oh, well, I, I don't know about that, but uh, yes, I suppose. Uh, what are you doing down here? Well, I had some spare time, and, you know, I like exploring nature and stuff, so I just figured I'd look around, killed some really nasty pink things, and tried to kill me, but it's okay, they're dead. Oh, uh, yes, I believe we saw your handiwork coming in. Um, yeah. Well, uh, it's very impressive. Uh, is anyone down here with you? Just me. Just me. I'm, they're, they're pussies, you know? They don't really... They're not into conflict as much as they're heroes. I, uh, I usually do most of the heavy lifting. Uh, give me a deception check. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of <laughs> eyes you suspiciously uh, and says, Are you sure? It seems unlikely that you'd just be down here all by yourself. Well, I mean, I don't I don't keep track of everybody all the time. I'm not really the mothering type. Uh, but I do have some pretty awesome bears back up at the stable. And I was just heading out to hang out with them. And maybe you want to come with me. We could get a beer... Uh, and just, you know, hang out. Talk oh, about uh, the wizardy stuff you do. Well, uh, I suppose that would be, uh, that would be fun. I was, I was, uh, just down here exploring and I noticed, uh, some of the doors that were usually closed were open and, uh, we, 
uh, yes, we saw that uh, there had been a bunch of fights that had occurred, so we were just taking a look around. Uh, I wanted to finish exploring, but I'd be happy to head back up with you and maybe discuss things this evening. I would uh, be yeah. curious what type of creatures you encountered. I mean, Definitely, I can... maybe we could come down and explore just you and me sometime. Uh, give me a perception check, or uh, sorry, a uh, <laughs> persuasion check. Invisible ribbons pulling a face like, really? <laughs> Picking someone up in this situation? Picking the girls up in a dungeon. Uh, so <laughs> she might get a little flustered when you say that and says, uh, well, uh, maybe, I suppose, if uh, Blackwater says it's all right for us to all come down here, um, does does he know that you're exploring this place? Or was this something you is, were more doing on your own? Is this Blackwater stuff? Well, uh. not not specifically, but... Uh, <clears throat> these tunnels do uh, connect to his estate. They do? Man, I'm, I'm sorry. I just... Sometimes I need to let off some steam. And, and the guys, they say I can be kind of aggressive. Like I said, they're, they're pussies. So they're kind of mad at me because I hit them a lot. And so I figured I could find, you know, something else to beat on is all. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, well... Uh... I don't know about all that, but uh, <clears throat> yes, maybe uh, maybe we could uh, speak about things sometime. Um, yeah. Do you mind if I look around back here? And she starts kind of going towards where your group is. Be careful, because there's like a lot of water, and it's it's nasty. I mean, I, I don't touch me because I was in it. It's gross, and you, just, you look so good right now. I just, as much as I'd like to see you wet. Um... <laughs> Just uh, give me another careful. persuasion check. Oh god. <laughs> I want to I don't know what to do. I want to try and help. I don't know how. Uh all right. Well, she she nods. Are you, are you going to let her just walk past you to where your allies are back here? I'm I'm going to try and block her off a little bit and really encourage her not to get her her pretty clothes wet. Oh, uh I would like to slink back into this corner <laughs> as quietly and slowly as possible while she's talking. All right. Uh, so she says, oh, uh, I'll, uh, so I'll say you're kind of like, did you, you said you approached her, right? So you're maybe up here yeah. now. Uh, do I have a token for her? Let me see. She says, oh, well, I, I, I can be careful. You don't have to worry. Um, and she's still trying to get past you. I just want to have a look listen, around. Listen, just, just smell me. Smell me. It's really, it's nasty in there. You, you don't want to go in there. Uh, besides, beer's getting cold, man. Let's let's go have a beer. We can we can plan it out better, and hopefully you can, you know, not not tell anybody about my mess up. I'm, uh, really... give me one more persuasion check, please, crit for the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. So, oh, that's good. <laughs> she she kind of pauses for a moment. She says, "A beer does sound good, though." I told. Blackwater, I'd look around. Uh, his scouts uh, basically asked, uh, well, told us about what had happened, or they had told us about some disturbances, and I told him I would at least look around down here a bit. Um, hey, you found your disturbances. I'm kind of big and loud, and I did kill some shit, so hmm. that's me. That's I'm sorry, that's me. I, you know, I have issues. Like I said, the guys are kind of pussies and they don't know how to take a hit. So she kind of looks past you a little uh, and says, well, I I mean, I suppose... I uh, grab her arm like, listen, oh, beer would my. be great. I'm disgusting right now. I really need a, need a bath after killing those pink things. And let's, we could just go sit down, just talk start about pulling it all, her. have a beer. And I, yeah, I just start walking with her. Um, like, well, you know, uh... All right, so and I just kind of go with her. So her where where are you pulling her exactly? Because uh, I'm taking her to leave. So there's two ways out of here. Uh, there's the way she came in and the way you came in. You assume she didn't come in the same entrance you did. Because uh, remember, these tunnels also connect to Blackwater's yeah. estate. So I'm gonna pull her up to here and then go. Uh, oh, I, I, yep. Oh. I don't really know her? how we're. Yeah, I'm pulling her. I'll pull her up to here, 
So go ahead and, and move go, where you're uh, going with her. Yeah. Like, so uh, this is kind of embarrassing, but I don't really remember how to get out. Do you mind showing me the way? Oh, uh, well, I mean, we... And now you see there's a bunch of people there who are kind of uh, holding crossbows and looking uh, suspiciously at you. And she says, oh, oh, uh, no, no, it, it's all right. It's uh, it's just Mia. She's part of the Heroes of Char. And they're like, oh, yes. And they come hey, over guys. and they're, uh, they're like shaking your hand and pat you on the back. And they're like, oh, We're yeah, gonna go yeah. We're going to get a beer. We're going to get a beer. You guys want to wanna come? Let's go get a beer. I'm sorry. I stink. I'm nasty. It's, it's like flooding. It's a whole thing. I killed some sparkly pink things. And... I just, I could totally go for a beer. We're, so, me and Lyra are going to get it, get one. Do you guys want to come? They sort of look to Lyra. Is that an option, ma'am? Are we are we done down here? And she says, well, um, there was that still that one area back there, but I suppose we can, we have enough to report for now. Um, all right, sure. We, we can, we can head back, uh, and give a report of what we found here. That's fine. And uh, we'll we'll just we'll come back tomorrow and finish exploring. I see, I, I feel we have uh, plenty to speak of. So Mia, uh, she kind of directs you to follow her and the rest of them out of here. Uh, do you mind speaking with Blackwater? She says to you, uh, Mia. Yeah, sure, no problem. All right, let's go then. Uh, Will there be beer? Oh, I'm sure there'll be beer. Yes. Awesome. All right, so what are the rest of you doing as you hear Mia kind of fading into the distance? Well, um, my crate is now gone. <laughs> Your crate poof. I'm not sure if that screwed us or if that saved us, to be honest. <laughs> I don't really know what exactly she did, but apparently it worked. Apparently, if you just talk enough, you can make anything work. As Mia walked past with Lyra, I followed them and just stood at the end just to watch them walk off and see what, which way they went. So I'm watching them walk off, kind of. Yeah. I feel kind of bad. That elf oh. seems nice, that Lyra woman. But I guess it's better I mean, that Blackwater she's, doesn't know we're here. She's not a bad person, but if I was caught down here with all of you, it would be very bad. Oh, yeah, that, that probably uh, probably makes sense. Have they all like gone? I can't see any. Yeah, so the watching. the lights kind of fade, and you probably hear Mia talking very loudly in the distance as she does. Let me tell you about those beers. Let me tell you more about the bears. Continuing her discussion with Lyra. Well, let's get the there. fuck out of here quick. Yes, I, I agree. What we're gonna do? All right. So the group is, uh, I assume, going the other way out. Yes. Yeah, we're going our way, and as we go, we're gonna go. She get two dates with two people, and I can't even get one with Neil. <laughs> all right, so really you, annoying. <laughs> you all head back out into the Barrows area. Uh, which where is that? It's over here. Uh, hoping that Mia's all right. Uh, and the group begins traveling through the tunnels. Uh, you would see Neil kind of duck down at the barricade. He says, I heard noise. What was happening? I'm just going to tell him who we ran into and oh. the fact that it does join to Blackwater's thing. Shit. Well, that's not good. <clears throat> well, did he, uh, did he, did, did they see you? Shockingly, Mia saved us and got herself a date in the process. It was really weird. Well, good for and... her. Wait, now I would she's, assume she's dating Sithril and uh, Blackwater. Man, that girl gets around. Sorry, go Well, ahead, I would saying. assume that, that since you did not see her come out this way, that she went the way to Blackwater's estate. So she knows how to get and there. It's all, and it's all now connected. Well, Do we know how to get into Blackwater? That's hey. useful. Yes. Hopefully quite. she's okay. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I guess we should probably get out of here for now. Yes, I need to return home quickly. Yeah, make sure she doesn't shoot us badly. I will and make hey. sure that she's fine. Uh, a bunch of, a bunch of ghosts came screaming down the hallway and I had to run away. Uh, unfortunately, they're somewhere in these halls. I don't know where. 
just uh, FYI. So, oh, great. Yeah. Um, I probably will. Yeah, so uh, we better keep an eye out as we go. They might still be around here somewhere. I think we should move quickly. All right. So Neil is leading you back. Uh, I'm going to roll a d20 for no reason. Can you guys hear when I roll? Kind of. Kind of. All right. Uh, so you actually are able to make your way out of here without issue. Uh, you go past that cave in from before. I don't think Neil saw that. I don't know if he was with you for that. Uh, Wasn't. And, yeah, so he doesn't know about that. Uh, and you make your way back out into the town. Before we leave Neil, I'm going to give him another of the Minotaur scores and go, that's another date you owe me. So what is this with the skulls and the date? We can hang out. It's not a big deal. It's fine. You yeah, well, I like skulls. to make... What am I going to do with yeah, these? You already gave me you already gave me one, didn't you? I gave you three, and this is the fourth. Yeah, so where am I going to put this? I don't know. Uh, all right, fine, whatever. And he takes the skull. All right. Thank you. Get out of here. All right, so what's the group doing? Uh, and actually, I might want to cut to Mia really quick. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> Mia, you would follow them through the tunnels the other way. Uh, do you have any knowledge of history? I have a negative one. <laughs> All right. So, these tunnels look a little bit different from the ones you were in. Uh, you see a lot of bones everywhere as there's like kind of cracking and crunching as you all walk over. It looks like uh, there may have been a huge battle down here in this wide open hallway. Uh, and you would kind of climb past a uh, crushing trap that's still semi active. Lyra would tell you to be careful uh, as they kind of looks like they had a rope set up so you're able to get past uh, without too much issue. Um, you would follow her through some tunnels to a area that has a long uh, hallway at the end of which is a, like a porcullis, like a metal gate and a bunch of crossbows sticking out. And uh, Lyra would say, it's, it's us. It's all right. And they would kind of pull the crossbows back in and unlock the gate as uh, she walks back over and she says, uh, this is uh, Blackwater's basement. Uh, come with me. We'll go upstairs. Like you guys had quite a battle back there. Got really pumped, huh? Oh, that huh? was that. That was nuts. Those bones have been there for a long time. Um, so she would lead you through the basement, which actually has quite a bit of hallways. You weren't expecting it to be this large, uh, almost like a small dungeon in and of itself. Uh, she leads you through it uh, up the stairwell, where you're back in the main hall. Uh, there's a bunch of mercenaries there, and Blackwater, who would look over and kind of look surprised to see Mia. He would walk over and say, uh, uh, Lyra, and Mia. Hello, my dude. How are you? Were you down in the tunnels? I was. There's lots of nice stuff to kill down there, man. It's really good for just getting that anger out, you know what I mean? I see. Uh, Lyra says, yes, she apparently was down there alone, um, fighting a bunch of, uh, bunch of creatures down there. Uh, give there me was a pink sparkly things. There was a minotaur. Here, look, here's its head. Isn't this thing cool? I want to make it a helmet. Uh, give me another deception check, Mia. I really do want to uh, make it a helmet. Uh, not, not, really not about do. that. I, I, well, he believes that. Uh, he would say, oh, um, so how did you get down there, Mia? Just out of curiosity. Because I know it wasn't through my house. I'm not really sure how to get in and out. I just kind of stumbled upon it. And thank God Lyra came around because I don't, I hadn't, I'm not so good at the thinking ahead part, the guys tell me. Um, I don't really know how I was going to get out, but... He sort of arches his eyebrow and says, You stumbled upon the halls of Tarsus, did you? That's what that's called? Yes. What is it for? Well, it's an ancient uh, underground church. Uh, a holy place of Moradin. Now, when you say... Oh shit, I was killing holy people? 
I'm so sorry. I didn't know. No, oh. the, the, the area had become corrupted due to a uh, conflict that happened between the forces of uh, Orcus and the forces of Moradin. But you say you just stumbled upon it. How does yeah, one stumble so... upon something that deep underground? Well, I don't know if you know much about me, but I'm kind of a nature freak. So when the rest of the guys are just dicking around, I like to hang out with my bears. I have my, I got my egg and I like to just, you know, be out there in nature. And I'm, you know, I just kind of like to hang out and stuff. And then I heard some shit and I was like, ooh, something to kill. And then one thing and then, then kill another thing. And then you just kill another thing. You just keep killing things. And, and then, you know, after a while, you just, you know, feel good. Give me another deception check. Oh my God. <laughs> oh God! He says absolutely. No, I forget that. <laughs> absolutely nothing you said makes any sense. Okay. So I you know it. Claim, a lot of people don't get it. So you, you you claim you were out in nature and you started killing things and then somehow you ended up underground killing things. You know, the knife takes you some interesting places in life, and. You just kind of get into this flow, and you're not really sure about anything except for the fact that it feels really good when you take that that knife, and then you just you just you just stab, and then you stab, and then you stab, and then you stab, and then it's dead. Hmm. <laughs> I see. What about the rest of your friends? Where are they? Ah, uh, well. Knowing them, they're probably getting shit-faced. Or, you know, Ribbon, my friend, the little, little fairy, he likes to, uh, don't tell anybody because it's a secret and you'll ruin it, but he likes to yell out things like, dragons are coming, and then we watch everybody scatter. It's really fun. He said, you should come hang out with us sometime. That's the greatest. And all the people just freak out. <laughs> says, yes, I've heard of the rumors of dragon attacks. Uh, question, are you all heading up to Blackwater's estate after you, uh, get out? I'm I, I am. I'm, so I cast, I'm gonna cast predict, prestidigitation on myself to clean myself up, and I'm fucking sprinting up to Blackwater's estate. Okay. So, question, do I actually look like I'm in bad shape, or? Uh, so, someone looking at you would think that you look a little bit, um... Because of the life train, like a little bit, uh, what would the word be? Um, like, uh, oh, like, yeah, it's noticeable. Like, there, you look a little off. Like, maybe you could, could it be described slept. as a hangover. Uh, sort of like a really extreme hangover that looks makes you look a little like your eyes are like as if you haven't slept well and like you're a little withered looking. Uh, those who know about necrotic energy, it would be obvious you were affected by it. Uh, so someone, case, someone, uh, someone who knows about magic would probably know that something bad happened to you. I say, let's just head back to the tavern. Mia will surely be all right. At this stage, we'll just give away that we were down there as well by showing up there. Yeah, I don't think we're fooling anyone here. If Mardonis is correct and he's spying on us, he would kind of add two and two together when we went missing. <laughs> I mean, obviously, we can have Maldonis go back there. That's not an issue, as long as he dusts himself off a little bit. That way, we at least know what's going on with her. But uh, it's not a good idea for us to be uh, showing up there now. We also I can think... take a really early rest today and try to ha get back down there before Blackwater's people tomorrow. Right. Exactly. So just um, Maldonis is heading there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, you're, uh, okay, so Mia, you're talking with Blackwater, uh, uh, Lyra would kind of say, uh, oh, um, well, I'm, I'm sure, I mean, there's so many tunnels that go down there, Lord Blackwater, maybe, uh, maybe she's just stumbled upon one and got below the city somehow, uh, but, uh, and, Lord Blackwater sort of looks at her and says, uh, perhaps. Although, I am, as I said, uh, more curious as to where the rest of your group is. Now, you say that 
they just sort of wandered away from you as you went into this murder-fueled haze that you don't remember exactly where you ended up? Well, they weren't really with me. I tend to spend a lot of time alone, not so good with people skills. Um, so I think they could have been wherever, but I, I was, you know, See, the thing is, they don't like it when I hit them, and I'm, I'm trying not to hit them as much, because I, I, I kind of like them. They're cool, you know, and, and, and you know, when, lately, when I get an opportunity to just smack down a baddie, I, you know, I, I try to do that instead of taking out my anger on the guys, but also, they're pussies, because they can't take a hit. Uh, give me pers <clears throat> persuasion, maybe? Persuasion or deception, I'll let you choose. <laughs> Raw. <laughs> Raw. <laughs> All right. So, he just sort of nods as a... Well, do you have any insight? Like, uh, give me an insight check. Insight? Uh... He doesn't have any Huh. Nice. Strangely insightful. Uh, you don't think he's buying it at all. Uh, he's smiling and nodding, uh, but you think he is, uh, what's the word, uh, patronizing you. He would just kind of say, all right, well, it sounds like you've had a rough day. Uh, perhaps we can... I was told there was beer! Well, I'm sure you can find your way back to the tavern for some beer. Uh, I don't have any available right now, but... Um, uh, you don't want to... Come have a beer. Lyra's gonna come have a beer. We were all gonna have a beer. Do you wanna? Oh, are you going to go have a beer, Lyra? He looks to her and she looks really nervous and says, "Um, well, I thought uh, I would give you my report and then maybe take a short afternoon break and maybe head back down later." He nods. He says, "That sounds good. Why don't you do that?" So Lyra will join you shortly, my dear. Okay. Do you? Do you maybe have, like, a place that I could, like, wash? I don't really want the guys to know that I've been going out killing stuff. Because, you know, I want them to think that I am able to control myself on my own. And it kind of like, well, you get it. When when you're really, you know, when you, you've got strength and then... You know, you have to be gentle and soft with these people, and then... But sometimes it's just, you gotta kill something, you know? You, you know, right? So, you know? Meldonis, you were running there, right? Yes. Before right. I get into the gates, I'll, you know, stop and compose myself, and I'll walk in. Alright, so about this time, uh, Meldonis, you would probably come walking into the uh, house, you... Uh, you would see Mia talking to Blackwater, who uh, is just sort of nodding. He looks over and he says, Ah, Meldonis, you return. Oh, Blackwater, uh, what do we have here? Well, we're we, getting beer! We, uh, it's apparently we're getting beer, but um, this, uh, we found Mia here below the uh, the town in the tunnels. So, apparently, she was just going to get a beer. Oh. All right. Um, sorry, I could not have been more of um, help going down with... Uh, I would assume you sent uh, Lyra, since she's here. Sent Lyra where? <clears throat> down to the tunnel side. Don't really know how else she would have found this person. This is how very perceptive. Yes, uh, Lyra was down in the tunnels along with several of my archaeologists. Oh, I would have loved to go and got some research what? done, but unfortunately, I was says, predisposed. Oh. Well, uh, that's that's all right. Uh, they more went because uh, some of our. Uh, perhaps we'll speak more of it later. Uh, why don't you uh, go, my dear? I don't have any baths for you, unfortunately, but I'm sure one of the inns can help you. All right, Lyra, are you ready to get a beer? 
Oh, uh, yes, I just have to finish this report for Lord Blackwater, then I can join you. Uh, where will you be? At the Maplewood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go take a, I'll do, go take a bath, and then we'll meet up, and we'll have a beer, and uh, maybe, if you're, uh, if you're good, I'll introduce you to my bear. Oh, uh, yes, that sounds lovely. I will meet you shortly. Yeah, anybody else who wants a beer, come on. Right. So Mia really is walk. walking out. Uh, Blackwater is sort of eyeing her a bit, and uh, not not you as much, Meldonis. He just kind of gives you a nod and oh. says, uh, "Did you finish the uh, the research you were working on of the uh, the city of Isik?" Unfortunately, I wasn't able to. I was attacked by some bandits. I thought I had a lead outside of the city, uh, but unfortunately, these ruffians decided they wanted to steal my purse. Give me a deception so, check. Oh, is, with pleasure. This is bandits. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the roads had been cleared. Strange. Well, apparently, they. I thought as much as well, but apparently. That well, was not the case. It seems you're alright, so perhaps you could get back to work and. Stop wasting time. Um, he'll give him like a kind of a forced smile. Uh, and he'll say, uh, of course. Of course. And he says, Lyra, I expect that report soon. And she says, yes, Lord Blackwater, of course. And he goes back to his office. She sighs and says, ah, oh, jeez. God, I will All right, back to work. What a day. Uh, I would like to follow uh, Lyra to her office. So she goes and uh, basically goes upstairs uh, past a couple of guards uh, who, you know, just make sure none of the mercenaries go where they're not supposed to. Uh, the guards would nod to you and let you pass as she goes to the library, uh, pulls uh, some scrolls aside along with some uh, ink and parchment and begins uh, scribing notes of uh, some of the looks like some of the things she saw down there uh, pulling out some of her own notes from uh, her I guess her backpack as she copies some other things that she found uh, are you trying to like be sneaky or just kind of walk oh, no. up to her no 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 I'll, I'll even like knock on the, um, uh, the the door frame as I come in alright uh, uh, yes, who, who's there? <clears throat> ah, Lyra, it's Meldonis. Ah, Meldonis, it's good to see you. Uh, how is How is the studies uh, on Isik coming? Oh, dreadful, to be honest. Oh, uh, my apologies. I heard you went down to the tunnels. Oh, today. I did. It was most exciting. Uh, the, the doors uh, that were usually sealed, uh, apparently there was some sort of commotion and the scouts had checked it out and uh, apparently, yes, uh, someone else was down there and it turned out to be Mia. She did quite a bit of damage. I worry oh. she may have broke some of the uh, ancient artifacts that may be preserved down there. Huh. Interesting. Are you going to be sending... Uh... Or are you going to be going uh, with another party down there anytime soon to make sure the artifacts are intact? Well, we've only uh, we were only able to explore part of the area. I assume that we're going to head back there tomorrow. I'd like to get a full mapping of the halls of Tarsus since this is the first time we've been inside. Uh, Mia seems to have done quite a good job at taking care of uh, the undead that were guarding the place. So this is a chance to get some more info well good for her if you wouldn't mind i would love to see that map that you come up with tomorrow oh. honestly i'm fascinated by it uh yes I, I i could show you parts of it now uh i only have part of the map drawn but she would kind of show you uh she would pull it out and show you and basically she has the areas drawn that you all had gone through okay uh, she says, "Yes, uh, with uh, yeah, with, with these guardians uh, taken out by Mia, uh, it seems at least the place is more safe. Probably not totally safe. Maybe Blackwater could hire her to come down with us. I mean, it's very possible. 
Um, on the map, does it show the tunnel leading from that temple to Blackwater's estate? Uh, no, she doesn't have a map of that. It looks like her map kind of starts where the Halls of Tarsus might start. Uh, she does seem like she speaks Dwarven because she has a bunch of the, like, libraries and, uh, la or sorry, the labs mapped, which means she probably was able to read some of the scripts. Gotcha. So, but no tunnels past the Halls of Tarsus. Um, so sh you said that she had some of the, the scripts, like, were they translated and written out? Yeah, so, like, where the runes were on the wall, it's kind of marked, uh, where the, yeah, where the dwarf runes were and what they were, what they said. Okay. Uh, it seems that there is a southern hallway marked as vault area, which it seems you haven't been to. Mm. Uh, that big Was that, hallway. Would I know that would be kind of the area where we fought the giant uh, skeleton? Yeah, so I that? can I can okay. refresh your memory real quick. Uh, so... Da, 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 beep, beep, beep. So that's like over here. That is, yeah, so basically down this south hallway here, uh, kind of over here where these statues are. It's Marcus okay. Vault area. Uh, and other than that, yeah, it's just the map that you have explored. Like, she doesn't have any of this mapped out where you all were. Okay. Like this area. Ooh. Yeah, that second lab, it seems, because obviously Mia told her to go the other way. Uh, right. But yeah, she she kind of shows you and, and sort of smiles and says, do you think I should go meet um, Mia for a drink? I don't know. She seems a bit scary. Oh, I I think you would have a wonderful time if you went and join <sighs> that wonderful lady for a drink. Give me a persuasion check. Oh, rough. Not as good. Oh, but I rolled better. Uh, oh, maybe. I I don't know. She just seems very, very uh, loud. I don't know what the word would be. But Lyra, she... you've been working so hard, and I think you should just loosen up for the night. Well, well maybe. Are you going to join us, or do you have work to do? Uh, I mean, Lord Blackwater wants me to continue with my research, but... In all honesty, I feel like it's in vain. But I'll keep searching. Why Maybe is... I'll find something. Why has he been so hard on you? Uh, I've worked with you all before, and things just seem different lately. Uh, something happened. Have you earned disfavor with him? Uh, and um... of course, you don't have to answer. I know it's not my place to ask. I, I just... It, it seems odd the way he's been treating you lately. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure, but now that I'm thinking of it, maybe, maybe drinks do sound good. And she nods. She says, well, uh, I'm going to head over to the Maplewood and I'm sure Mia would love to have you as well. H have you met the heroes? Uh, only in passing. Uh, I well, I've seen them on the streets. They, they seem like a very, uh, a very interesting group i would suggest meeting them um they're definitely oh. skilled and maybe uh maybe we could all work together in the future of course uh excuse me if you don't mind i would love to join you i just need to go uh, change it to some different clothes i kind of got into a fight today and i'll kind of gesture to you the uh ah, yes the the bandits how dreadful um were are you all right oh yes i'm fine the bandits not so much but i'm fine I imagine so. They didn't realize they were going up against an arcanist. Well, uh, you are definitely more skilled in the uh, martial ways of uh, magic than I, but uh, l let me finish this, and then I will meet you over at the Maplewood. Of course. She nods. And I'll uh, take my leave, go upstairs, uh, change clothes decently quickly, and I'll head out to the Maplewood. All right. <laughs> so... The rest of you uh, were probably already at the Maplewood when you see Mia walk in. Uh, I'll say that you're all just sitting at the bar. You have a couple of people talking to you as uh, your group is well known within the city. Maybe a little bit. Uh, people are a little bit scared because of Riven. Uh, but yeah, overall, there's still a pretty good uh, reputation for I the would group. I was going to ask Scurry, Nala, or Tal if any of them want to come with me to speak to the mayor, because I kind of want to know what Blackwood is telling him. 
it's why he's picked up the interest in the blood hand so much. Do you have? Well, look, I can't go out looking like this. Anybody that knows anything about magic is going to pick me out as a fucking ghoul <laughs> when it comes down to it. So I'm going to go to sleep. Right. How? I think we should all go to sleep. Since our cover in the tunnel was, was blown, we should probably attack tonight. So I suggest we all fucking go to sleep now. And then as soon as we wake up, we go to the blood hand and get going. All right. Well, it is uh, still pretty early. Uh, if people wanted to do downtime activities, you could try to spend a day doing them. I'm gonna go try and speak to the mayor to find out what Blackwater is telling him why he's interest why he's got the town guard interested in the blood hand. All right. right now. So but anyone. I don't know if anyone well, anyone who wants to put a day towards one of their downtime activities, you can do that. Uh, but you said, uh, Riven, you were going to go speak to the mayor? Yeah. Uh, I want to ask anyone who's going to call because I don't know if they trust me or not. It should not be normal. Uh, I assume, uh, Mia, you're probably going to meet with Lyra for drinks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's not going to be the whole day, right? That's mm -hmm. probably just going to be for like an hour or so. Uh, yeah. All right, well, we are also getting close to the end time. It's about 2 o'clock, so why don't we do MVP and we can... Uh, I'll say we pass the day and I can do the encounter with Riven and whoever else wants to go talk to the mayor next time. But you can put a day towards your downtime activity. Whatever you're, uh, you're currently working on. Go Bears! And uh, let's say, let's just say the day passes. I'll say, Riven, you probably weren't able to speak to the mayor tonight. I'm, uh, I'm also identifying everything we found. All right. Uh, let's let's do the identifies next time. Uh, but I will say the day passed, so it'll be the 18th of autumn at 7 a.m. when we start up next time. Uh, so you guys get that day. Speaking with Lyra, we can do some. Do you want to RP the uh, the meeting with Lyra and Meldonis in the bar, or should we just say that happened? I'd like uh, to beat them. In. Anything that will come of it, or are, are we going to be able to get any? There any are some things that I wanted to uh, tell Lyra specifically in the bar. All right. So why don't we? Uh, I'll. I'll. Uh, we'll hold off on passing the data, and we'll just say it's still uh -huh. twelve p.m. And we'll pick it up uh, next time. Okay. Okay. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and give me MVP votes, and we'll I'll, we'll end here. It's GM slash W and then the name, yeah. Uh, it looks like this. it's slash W and then space DM. It's this without the parentheses. Hey. <clears throat> Uh, wait, who's Meta? Me? Aldonis? Oh, uh... I don't know why it showed up as... Weird. Alright, well, uh, with almost... Well, no, with a unanimous vote, Mia, you are the MVP. Oh! Everyone loves Mia! Good. Yay, your, thank you! For your, uh, I humbly accept this point. So you get an inspiration point to spend at your leisure. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we'll uh, leave it for now there, and we'll pick it up next time. Uh, hopefully everyone had fun, and I'll see you all next week. Yep. I'm going to take some notes, but I'll be here for a bit if anyone wants to talk about anything.